If you're a new player to Rainbow Six Siege, setting up the bomb site can be a daunting task. There are so many different operators and bomb sites that you can very easily be overwhelmed. And in today's video, I'll be helping you with just that. I'll be going through every map and giving you one site setup for the three best bomb sites on each map. So if you're looking for some new strategies for your rank stack, or if you're just wanting to learn something, you've come to the right place. Now keep in mind, this is how me and my stack set up each bomb site. So I may set up some of the sites differently from you. And also the enemy team's operator bands may change the way you set up each site. Each map will show up in the video in the order they show up in the custom game menu. And like I said, I will only be giving three setups for each map since you only need to defend three different bomb sites to win a game. If you have any additional tips for players, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Also, timestamps will be in the description to enhance your viewing experience as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. Also, please like and subscribe. This took a lot of effort. Now, the first operator for kids, you're going to want to bring Cade. And if you're bringing the TCSG, you're going to want to make a rotate right here. And then once you make this rotate, you're then going to run over here and make these head holes. And then you're going to run up and reinforce attic wall. Once you've reinforced attic wall, you're going to throw a Cade charge to electrify the wall. And then you're going to rotate over to here and you're going to electrify this wall. Someone else will reinforce this for you. And then once you do that, you're going to put head holes across the white wall here. And then that's about it for Cade. Cade doesn't have to do anything else for the site setup. All the other operators will uh, deal with everything else. Now for the next operator you're gonna wanna pick on kids, what you're gonna wanna do is bring Wamai. And if your Cade doesn't bring a shotgun, you can have Wamai impact the rotate there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is have Wamai come over and reinforce this game's wall here. You're gonna have him run over and reinforce this wall here where the attic head holes are. Then once Wamai reinforces this wall, you're then gonna have him run over and reinforce the wall next to the rotate. And then you're gonna have him throw magnets in attic and also inside of trophy. And then you're gonna have him play inside attic and try to hold this side of the map. You can also have him throw magnets on double window as well to support your team and just have him play inside of attic and hold off any sort of push from there and also hold off any sort of push from master or trophy. Now for the third operator in this video, you're gonna wanna pick any operator with a deployable shield. This is kind of to help this video age more effectively because my last video, I would tell you to run like Thorn or something for a deployable shield. But as time goes on, some operators might fall out of the meta and some operators might lose their deployable shields or gain them. So when I say an operator with a deployable shield, it can literally be anyone. How you're gonna set up site with that operator is gonna vary somewhat since our gadget's gonna be different. But for today's video and on this bomb site, I'm gonna be showing Frost. What you're gonna wanna do is place a deployable shield right here, watching trophy door. Then you're gonna wanna put a Frost mat under double window, then a Frost mat on white stairs, and then put the last Frost mat on the attic drop down. Then once you've done that, you can run over, reinforce this wall right here next to the double window and put footholds. Now, obviously if your operator doesn't have a shotgun and they just have a deployable shield, you won't be able to put the footholds and you have to have either Kate or some other operator come and do them. But since I'm using Frost in this video, I figured I'd demonstrate her putting the footholds down. After you've done that, then you're just gonna have Frost play behind her deployable shield in the bomb site helping to support Cade and Wamai as they anchor down in the site. Now, the next operator I'm gonna be recommending for the kids bomb site is Legion. That's just because he's a really strong operator at the time of recording right now. His uh, goos provide a lot of utility and he also comes with a secondary shotgun and impact grenades. So he just brings a lot to the team. What you're gonna to wanna to do with him is you're gonna set him up as a roamer. You can have him make head holes for your team or something inside the site before he goes off site. Like he can also make these footholds here if your deployable shield operator doesn't have them. But once you set up the site and you've put any head holes or footholds for your team, you're then gonna start roaming below and you're gonna set up your goo mines and you're gonna make rotates below to help you hold in kitchen more effectively. So like goo mines in tower, goo mines on meeting, stuff like that. And then you're just gonna try to hold downstairs in kitchen for as long as possible. Make for sure they can't flank up white, make for sure they can't push Z hall. And you're just gonna set up a ton of utility down here so that way you can hold this down as a, a solo player. And then your other roamer, you're going to have them roam over in meeting, which I'll get to in a second. But yeah, you're just going to be holding downstairs. And if your teammates need help or they need you to rotate back to site, you, you'll go ahead and rotate to help your team. Now, the last operator I'm going to recommend is Solace or really any other operator you're comfortable roaming with. Uh, I just recommend Solace because she's by far the strongest operator in the game for roaming and she can deal with drones. And what you're going to want Solace to do at the start of the round is literally just run around, search for drones and shoot as many drones as possible. This will help uh, deal with the attacker drones later in the round, and it'll kind of shut down the attackers from being able to drone as effectively uh, when you guys are roaming downstairs. 
Once the prep phase is over and you've shot as many drones as you can with Solace, you're then just gonna play inside of meeting to help support your lesion downstairs. And you're just gonna be watching, you know, tower hall. You can also make a rotate here if you want. So that way you and lesion are playing, you know, near each other with rotates. It's kind of up to you where you put the rotates and how you set up downstairs for you and lesion to roam. But I wouldn't recommend putting any reinforcements down here or anything, literally just make rotates. And if the attackers start pressuring you really hard, start falling back. So like if you start getting really heavily pressured from tower or you start getting pinched, you know, open this hatch, drop into the basement and then try to rotate. You wanna to try to just delay as much time as possible. Don't take a lot of risks. And as long as you're able to waste a lot of time and shoot a lot of drones, then you've done your job well. You don't have to get a lot of kills. Just waste a lot of time downstairs in meeting and waste a lot of time downstairs in kitchen and you and Legion will be uh, doing a lot for your team. Now, the first operator that you're gonna wanna pick on the basement bomb site on Oregon, you're gonna wanna pick Mira. And what you're gonna wanna do with Mira is you're gonna wanna have her set up one mirror window right here in electrical or e-box. Then you're gonna put head holes across the wall. And then once you set that up, you're then gonna run over here and set your mirror window inside supply closet. Once this mirror window's here, sometimes this will happen, but I'll show you how to fix it. Once you set up that mirror window, you're then gonna wanna run over here, reinforce this wall and put head holes across it. Once you've done that, you can then shotgun this to fix that problem with the mirror window. I kind of accidentally shot this, but you get the idea. And then once you've set this up, then Mira's done with her site setup. The the rest of the stuff can be set up by your teammates, which I'll show you in a second, but yeah. Then Mira's just gonna play behind her mirror windows in the bomb site. This one's useful for peeking into freezer and it's also useful for peeking into laundry. The reason why you don't wanna put a mirror window here is because if you put it here, then anyone in freezer can look at the door and just shoot you when you're playing on the mirror window. So you wanna put it here, even though it seems counterintuitive because you're revealing yourself to laundry when you go to play on the mirror, it's better to have the mirror window here than back here because then you'll just get shot. Now the second operator you're gonna wanna pick on basement for Oregon is mute. And what you're gonna wanna have him to do is make the rotate here, then make this rotate. Then you're gonna have him reinforce this wall and make head holes across this. Once he's done that, he's then gonna place one mute jammer in blue right here, one mute jammer in blue right here, one on pillar door here. And then his final mute jammer can go inside a freezer. I'd probably recommend something like this. Then once you've set everything up with mute, like I just demonstrated, you're then gonna have him play behind the shield inside of blue here. Take advantage of his nitro cell and his close range weapons to play behind the shield that your teammate's gonna set up in a minute. Now the next operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're gonna wanna have him do is run over into freezer, put one ADS here to protect the teammate playing in freezer. Then you're gonna put a bulletproof camera on this reinforcement that your teammate is going to place. Then you're gonna run over into blue. Obviously that rotate would be there, but it's not there because, you know, we, I, I can't show that in custom game, but you're gonna run over here, place two ADSs on the shield, like so. Obviously the Mujammer would be here, so you might have to pick this up and put it on the wall. And then once you've set that up, you're then going to go over and play in pillar as a Jaeger. You're gonna wanna swing off of this to support your teammates playing uh, blue and playing on the mirror window. And you're also gonna wanna play on tower stairs if they start taking tower and help your team play here. That's all really Jaeger has to do. He just has to set up his BP and his ADSs. Um, and once he does that, you're pretty much good. You can also have him reinforce this wall to protect your mirror from getting pre-fired. But outside of that, you should be fine. Now for the next operator, you're gonna wanna pick on basement. I recommend bringing any operator with a deployable shield that you can roam with. And so for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be choosing Ella. What you're gonna wanna do is run over into blue. Obviously you can go through the rotate once it's made. And you're gonna wanna place the shield down right here. Then you're gonna wanna run upstairs and you're gonna wanna get the two hatches in freezer and in laundry. Here's the freezer hatch in security. And then the laundry hatch is all the way over here in main lobby. Once you get those two hatches, you're then just gonna set up upstairs and try to stop the attackers from getting the e-box hatch by playing in meeting. I'd recommend uh, setting up some ele mines so that way they can't just push you extremely easily. Maybe setting one up here on split and then maybe the last one on the garage door here. And then just use those ele mines to kind of swing off and get aggressive onto people if they start pushing you. And yeah, you're just gonna waste as much time as possible as usual when you're roaming. Now for the fourth operator on this bomb site, I'm gonna recommend picking either Bandit or Cade. It really doesn't matter. You can pick either one. Um, it's entirely up to you. But just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be picking Bandit. And what you're gonna want Cade or Bandit to do is you're gonna wanna have them electrify this wall here. That mirror's gonna place their mirror window on. 
We're gonna have them electrify this wall. Electrify this wall where the mirror window's at. And then the final uh, bandit charge can be saved for when your teammate ends up reinforcing this rotate hole, or it can be put on the freezer wall. It doesn't really matter. But once you've placed your bandit charges down, you're then going to make your way upstairs, run as fast as you can and get e-box hatch. Now, if you decided to bring a cage, you can get the e-box hatch as well. Instead of, uh, you can get the e-box hatch instead of the blue wall. It's up to you. But obviously for the sake of this custom, I brought Bandit. So that's why I'm not gonna be able to electrify this hatch. Anyways, after you reinforce the e-box hatch, you're then free to do whatever you want. I would recommend having Bandit play in Freezer. So that way your team has someone watching Freezer at all times. Cause a lot of the times, you know, teams will try to sneak down Freezer, sneak down Laundry. So you're gonna wanna have at least one player focused on this front side of the map while your other three teammates are focused over there. Now for the third and final bomb site, I'm gonna recommend you going on Oregon. I'm gonna recommend dining and kitchen. And what you're gonna wanna do for this bomb site is pick castle like I've demonstrated before. And what you're gonna wanna do is run over castle barricade security here. You're gonna castle barricade showers hall. You're gonna castle the window here. And then you're gonna castle the small tower door here. Then once you do that, you're gonna make a rotate from showers into the bomb site. You're gonna put footholds here and you're gonna reinforce this wall. Once you've done that, your prox alarms can kind of go wherever you want. I like to put one on the site door just so I know if someone walks into the bomb site. And then I like to put the other one on the top of the breach or something like that. So that way when they get the wall open, I'll get an audio cue when they walk into the breach. But you can put your prox alarms realistically wherever you want just to kind of watch your back and stuff. But throughout the round, you're just gonna play castle inside of showers and you're just gonna hold off the push into small tower by taking advantage of these footholds and by also swinging anyone right here on this window. Oh, and one more thing, you do need to reinforce this shower wall as well. This is an extremely important reinforcement that you need to set up. So make sure you reinforce that. That's, I almost forgot about that, but yeah, reinforce that wall as well. Now for the next operator on this bomb site, I'm gonna recommend Cade and you can bring Bandit if you want, but you're gonna have some other operator but you're gonna have to have some other operators set up some of the shotgun holes that I'm gonna demonstrate with Cade. But yeah, at the start of the round, you're gonna have him run over here, reinforce the two dining walls and electrify those off. Then you're gonna have him put head holes across this wall. And then you're gonna have him make a rotate here. And you're gonna have him put head holes here and reinforce this wall. Once he's done that, you're then gonna have him electrify this wall here once your teammate uh, reinforces them. And then I would recommend have Cade play inside a security with his 1.5. So that way he can, you know, peek out on anyone opening a hole into the breach, or he can peek out on anyone uh, coming into kitchen. And he can also rotate over here if people start pushing dining really hard, he can swing people coming through the, the dining breach or coming through the, the dining door. Also, one thing to keep in mind is that if you do need to rotate at any point in the round, you can have K to open this uh, hatch as well and drop down and go up through Z Hall as well if you ever need to rotate. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is some sort of form of nade the Nile. That can be Wamai or Jaeger, doesn't really matter. And what you're going to want to have them do is you're going to have them run over and reinforce the meeting wall here. And once they've reinforced this, you're then going to have them set up their nade denial somewhere inside the bomb site. I like to put nade denial on this door because a lot of the times they like to spam nades through the store, try to get smokes into the bomb site so they can cover a plant. So putting a lot of nade denial there is pretty smart. Also putting nade denial in this hallway to protect your teammate from getting naded is really smart. Like right here. So that way your who your showers player can't get, uh, you know, naded while they're playing in here. And also some on this reinforcement here so they can't get naded through the footholds is also pretty smart. But once you've set up your nade denial and you've reinforced the, those two walls, then you can just play anywhere in the bomb site with them. I'd recommend having them play somewhere in dining, but you can also have them play in kitchen and watch the backside here. So that way no one can rush into meeting and you can have them play somewhere over here if you want. But you're gonna wanna have your nade denial play somewhere near the bomb site on the first floor. Okay, now for the next operator I'm gonna recommend on this bomb site, I'm gonna recommend a Valk. And the first Valk cam I'm gonna recommend throwing is this one right here inside the light fixture. This is very hard to see, and it'll also give you info on when the attacker's going for the plant, because obviously you can see that wall. You can also red ping them through this. And it's really, really hard to tell that that's a Valk cam because it looks like part of the light. So this is a really good Valk cam spot. And then once you've thrown this Valk cam, you're then gonna have Valk run upstairs and you're gonna have her roam up here with her teammate, which I'll have, I'll show you in a second. And you're gonna have her reinforce this wall here outside double window or going to double window. And then you're gonna have her throw a Valk cam on white here and a Valk cam in trophy here. 
and then you want to use throne those you're then just gonna have her play up here with your other roamer which is gonna be solace and you're both just gonna roam up here and try to waste as much time as possible and rotate back to site when you need to and then one of your anchors inside the site can watch both the valcams up here to give you comms on anyone walking in from trophy or to give you comms on anyone walking in through white now as i mentioned earlier your final operator is going to be solace on the spawn site but it can be realistically any roamer it could be vigil or something like that whoever you're comfortable with or even lesion lesion is another operator to be really strong for this because you can have him go up there and set up some head holes for you and also set up some mines so that way you have you guys have even more intel on where the attackers are pushing from but just for the sake of this video i'm going to be picking solace and you're going to have her run around to look for drones as she makes her way upstairs then once she makes it upstairs you're gonna have her reinforce the sight hatch here and you're gonna have her make her rotate into attic once you've set this up you and valk are just gonna waste as much time as possible and that's pretty much it you're just gonna play upstairs and try to hold off the attackers because they are going to want to take upstairs so that way they can play vertically onto the b bomb site and so picking solace and valk and having them roam upstairs is probably going to waste a lot more time than other operators like i said you can also bring a lesion if you'd prefer that but i find myself enjoying solace more and so that's why i'm recommending solace in this video now for the first bomb site i recommend playing on clubhouse is church simply for the fact that i think it's easiest for beginners to understand and it's also the easiest for most people to defend a lot of people struggle with defending the upstairs bomb sites on clubhouse so i'm going to be recommending church what you're going to want to do with a rooney is have her run over here put in a rooney gate on the double door going into main you're gonna have her put barbed wire on main stairs you're then gonna have her punch the head holes on the wall i punched them on the wrong side because i'm you know not thinking but you put them on this wall not that wall then you're going to reinforce these two walls here once you've done that put feet holes across here and then barbed wire midway down the hallway like that then you're going to want to put one a rooney gate over here in blue to support your blue player so that way they know if someone's coming in from oil and then your last a rooney gate i would recommend putting on the blue hatch here to support your blue player then after you've set all of that up, you can then play inside of the bomb site. I like to put these holes here. So that way as a Rooney, I can peek aggressively on anyone pushing into oil, especially with my uh, 2.5 scope on the DMR. And then I just recommend ha having a Rooney play somewhere near dummies in uh, Arsenal. So that way you can swing onto anyone coming into main and you can also jump up on the box and shoot anyone on oil pit as well. Now for the second operator on this bomb site, I'm going to recommend bringing smoke. And what you're going to want to have him do is come over here and make a vaultable rotate into the B bomb site. This should be vaultable if I did it right. No, it's slightly off. But yeah, you're going to want a vaultable rotate there. Then you're going to want to run over here, make a blue rotate here. Also put foot holes across this wall. And then you're going to reinforce the middle one here. After you've done that, you're then going to set up barbed wire on oil right here. And you're going to set up barbed wire on secret right here. And then once you've done that, you're going to run upstairs and get the blue hatch. Once you've gotten that, you're then just going to have your smoke player play inside blue behind the generator here. You're going to have him play right here and just swing out onto anyone pushing into blue with a shotgun or his SMG 11 and smoke stuff off as people start getting super aggressive and just try to burn as much time as possible if the attackers start pressuring this hard. If they don't, then you can have your smoke player rotate over to the head holes here and start smoking off main stairs or start smoking off the bomb site if they start getting really aggressive for a plan. Now, the third operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Valkyrie. And what you're going to want to have her to do is a run upstairs and get the other two hatches immediately as soon as the prep phase starts. You're going to get kitchen hatch. And after you get kitchen hatch, you're going to throw a Valcam somewhere in here. I recommend throwing one right here. Then you're going to run over into uh bar and get moto hatch as you get that i recommend throwing a valve cam inside the radio right there so that way you can see inside a bar and then the last valve cam i'm going to recommend you throw it is right here inside of the fridge and lounge this one will likely end up getting shot but it'll provide you valuable intel on anyone walking down secret early in the round and try to throw it on here because it's harder to see when you throw it there and once you set up these Valk cams, you're then just going to have your Valk rotate back down into the bomb site, and you're going to have Ur. And once you set up this Valk cam, you're then going to have your Valk just roam upstairs. Either have her play over here and lounge and try to hold off anyone coming in through stock or through garage, or you can have her roam top floor and like really pressure the attackers to clear her out. Um, but 
Just find a place that you want to position yourself with Valkyrie and just roam and waste as much time as possible. It doesn't really matter where. And then just have your anchors on site provide you with as much call outs as they can. So that way you know where the attackers are pushing from and when to swing and stuff like that. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Cade. And what you're going to want to do with him is at the start of the round, run over to Moto and get Moto Hatch with your Cade Electric Claw. Then you're going to run over to Dirt and reinforce Dirt. Then once you get dirt reinforced, you're then gonna run back into the bomb site and you're gonna throw your electric claw on the kitchen hatch here. And then throughout the round, you're just gonna sit inside the site, check cams. And once you see someone inside of a uh, kitchen on the Valk camera, you're gonna try to nitro them with your nitro cell from below and get a free kill for your team. And then obviously throughout the round, you're also just gonna sit on cameras and provide comms for your teammate, like your Valkyrie or your other roamer that's gonna be running up or your other roamer that's gonna be roaming upstairs with Valkyrie. And you're just gonna play right here. If anyone comes down main, you're gonna shoot them. And if you hear someone applying pressure on dirt, you're gonna rotate into dirt and try to hold off the dirt push as well. Now, the final operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're gonna to wanna to have him do is run over into blue and put two ADSs in blue right behind the generator to protect your teammate. And then you're gonna have him put his BP right here on this little pipe stack to watch into oil. Then once you've set that up, and then once you've placed that there, I'm going to recommend putting one ADS here to prevent that attacker from shooting that uh, BP from oil pit with any sort of utility. Once you've set that up, you're then just going to run upstairs and start roaming with your uh, with your Valkyrie teammate. You two are just going to hold upstairs and try to delay the attackers as much as possible as any other roamer would. Doesn't really matter where you position Jaeger or Valk, you can position them wherever you want. It's up to you. Now for the next bomb site, I'm going to recommend for Clubhouse, I'm going to recommend Bedroom. And what you're going to want to do is bring a castle and you're going to have him make the footholds all the way across the gym right here. And you're also having to make a rotate here. Once you do that, you're then going to have him castle barricade this window, put a prox alarm, then castle barricade this door. Then you're going to have him run over here, castle barricade the bedroom door or window, sorry. And then the con window here. Once you have him do that, you're then going to have him shotgun head holes across this wall and shotgun a vaultable hole into this wall here. I'm kind of messing it up, but you get the idea. Yeah, I've horribly messed up this vault hole, but just make a vault hole here. Then you're going to have him throw a prox alarm under this desk in Lodgy and reinforce this wall. Then you're just going to have him play inside of Lodgy, kind of hold off anyone from swinging con window. And you're also going to have him, you know, delay anyone dropping Lodgy hatch, because obviously that's going to be a pretty big issue for this bomb site. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Cade. And what you're going to have him do is run over here, make the bathroom vaultable rotate. The TCSG can be a little tough to make uh, vaultable rotates with. So just bear with me here. Then you're going to have him reinforce this bathroom wall and reinforce this jacuzzi wall here. Once you have him do that, you're then going to have him electric claw this wall here. And you're going to have him make a rotate into gold vault here. And then once that's done, his last Electra Claw can go into cash on the triple wall here. Once you've done that, you're then going to have Cade play somewhere inside the bomb site. I'd probably recommend in bathroom, but you can have him play anywhere in the general area around the bomb site and just have him anchor down and give call outs on cams for your team. Now for the third operator, I'm going to recommend for this bomb site, I recommend you bring in Jaeger just to defend your uh, player inside of cash. What we're going to want to have him do is run over to the cash side of the map. You're going to have him put one ADS on the con window here. You're going to have him reinforce the con wall and then you're going to have him put two ADSs right here. Then for his BP, I recommend putting it up here on the top of cash. It can be a little tricky to get up here sometimes, but you have to run back and forth really quickly. And I kind of suck at getting up here. Then once you place that BP, you're going to want to shoot the uh, shoot the cash off so no one can get up there. And then you're going to reinforce these two cash walls. Then once you do that, I recommend having your Jaeger player play somewhere on main stairs so that way they so that way they can't just run up the staircase. And you're just gonna have them play right here, hold off any attackers from running up main stairs, and also kind of hold off any attackers from pushing the main breach. Now for the fourth operator in this video, I'm gonna be recommending anyone with a deployable shield. I'm gonna be recommending Warden for the sake of this specific bomb site because of the fact that you're gonna be getting flashbanged a lot on this position. But your, it's entirely your choice on what operator you bring for this. It just has to be someone with a deployable shield. What you're going to want to have them do is run over into cash along with Jaeger. You're going to have them reinforce 
these three walls here. And once you've done that, you're then going to put your deployable shield down on this little uh, green box here. And you're going to reinforce this wall here. And yeah, once you reinforce this wall, you're then just going to have your warden player sit behind the deployable shield in here and try to hold off the attackers from pushing in. You can also put the deployable shield a little further if you'd like, like right here. I don't like putting it here though, because you can get shot from the uh, con window a lot easier. So I like to put it behind this box and just play behind the box and use the deployable shield as kind of like a mirror window to swing out on anyone vaulting through the window or anything like that. Now for the last operator on this bomb site, I'm gonna recommend Solace. And what you're gonna have her do is run over here and help her team reinforce any of the walls I mentioned earlier. So you can have her reinforce this wall, this wall, the three walls there or these two cash walls, doesn't really matter. You're just gonna have a reinforce over here. And then you're gonna immediately have her run over into rafters, check for any drones. And you're gonna have her roam down here in bottom red near swamp to hold off anyone coming through secret to protect your team from getting, uh, you know, pushed from red and to also hold off any sort of garage take well. Having someone play here is, is always gonna help you out a lot. And you can also potentially pick up some free frags on people droning in server or anything like that. Have her play down here, waste the attacker's time. And if things start going bad, you can have her roam back up to the bomb site. Also, the same thing I've mentioned before applies to this roamer as well. You can pick any operator to play this position. You can have Legion go here, Vigil go here, doesn't really matter. It just needs to be someone that you're comfortable with and someone that you're confident will be effective in this area. Now for the first operator on CCTV and cash, what you're gonna wanna bring is Azami. And I like to run the ACS-12 on Azami, but if you're running the SMG, then obviously you won't be able to make some of the head holes and you'll have to have a different operator do that for you. What you're gonna wanna do at the start of the round is have Azami set up the holes right here. So that way you can jump up on this box and look into the garage. Then you're gonna set up head holes across this wall and you're going to reinforce this and then you're going to jump downstairs and reinforce these two walls here once you reinforce these you're then going to put a set of barbed wire right here and you're going to run and put your other set of barbed wire on red now that that's done you then can walk back over to a uh, garage here and you're going to throw your kibas on these gaps in the catwalk there's multiple of these gaps on the catwalk here you're just going to throw all of your kibas throughout the round on these gaps here you don't have to necessarily fill this one but you're going to throw them on these three so that way you can play off of them like deployable shields and so you can also have some cover if they get the main wall open and then the last key i'd recommend throwing is right here because then you can play close on the the head holes without getting shot you can kind of have some form of cover from the breach and also some form of cover from the window as well that you can swing out up onto. Now for the second operator, the CC bomb site, you're gonna wanna pick Wamai. And what you're gonna wanna have him do is you're gonna have him immediately as the round starts, jump down in the garage and reinforce these two walls. Once these two walls are reinforced, you're then going to run back up to rafters and you're going to throw one magnet right here on this beam and then one magnet over there on that door. Then once you throw those magnets, you're then going to run over to red and you're going to reinforce this middle wall here and make a rotate hole with your impacts. Once that is set up, you're then going to play inside Khan with Wamai and just sit in here and hold off attackers from pushing Khan or Master side. You can also play deeper in Master if you want and then fall back to Khan, but you wanna have Wamai play somewhere in this area so that way the attackers can't just get this for free. And the rest of your Magnus throughout the round, you can just use them to defend yourself or to defend your team. Like if, you know, they start pushing red or something, you can throw a Magnet over here to protect your teammate. But just throw your Magnus wherever the attackers are pushing and then periodically stay inside Khan so that way they can't just take this area. Now, the next operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is obviously gonna be Cade because you're gonna want some form of electricity but you don't have to pick Cade necessarily. You could pick Bandit and try to Bandit trick or something like that. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna be showing Cade. And what you're gonna wanna do is at the, at the start of the round, you're gonna wanna reinforce this wall into cash from Khan. Then you're gonna reinforce this other Khan wall here. Then you're gonna throw electricity onto this Khan wall here. And you're gonna throw electricity onto this CC wall after you reinforce it. Then after you've done that, you can pretty much just play anywhere in the bomb site. You can play top red with Cade, which is what I normally do just because the 2.5 helps you on these longer range angles. But it's entirely up to you where you position him. Just have him play somewhere in the bomb site. Okay, now for the next operator I recommend picking on this bomb site, I'm going to recommend a Goyo. And what you're going to want to do with him is run over to garage. And I'd put at least one Vulcan canister on the garage door. So that way a zombie can shoot this if she ever starts getting really heavily pressured. 
And then I'd also recommend putting one of them right here on bottom garage as well. So that way, once again, if she starts getting pressured from one of the two areas, she can just shoot that Goyo canister. Obviously, if there's someone bottom garage, they can just shoot that. But still, it's going to force them to have to wait for the Goyo canister to go out or to open that wall. And then that Goyo canister is also just going to give a zombie a little bit of extra time if she starts getting pressured really hard. Then the other Goyo canister I'd recommend throwing. Then the next Goyo canister I'd recommend throwing is going over here to red and putting a Goyo canister on it right here. It's a little finicky sometimes. But yeah, I'd recommend putting a Goyo canister right there because then if the attackers start pushing up red, you can shoot that Goyo canister and it'll immediately cover the staircase with fire. Now you do have to be wary of this fire because the attackers can shoot this from below. And if they shoot this, it will cover the mid platform as well with fire, but it still gives you a position to swing. So it doesn't completely cut you off from holding it. It's just, it is going to cover this area with fire somewhat. So you do have to watch out for that. If an attacker starts pushing from below, you, you can't stand right here. You'll start taking damage. Then the last Goyo canister I'm going to recommend placing is going to be right here on the con door, because obviously you're going to want something watching con. And that way, anyone playing on red can shoot that really quickly and shut down anyone from pushing into the site. And once you set up your Goyo canisters, I'd recommend having Goyo play somewhere downstairs just because he's a vector with an ACOG. So you can run around downstairs and, you know, have a really good weapon at your disposal. So I'd recommend having Goyo roam somewhere downstairs to kind of hold off any push from into stock or to hold off any push into bar and to just hopefully play below and kind of hold off the attackers from taking control of down here. Now, the last operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Valkyrie, just simply for the fact that she provides your team with a lot of intel and having intel on any bomb site is really useful. So what you're going to want to do at the start of the round is run over into garage and throw your team a cam somewhere into garage. It doesn't really matter whatever your favorite spot in garage is. I like to throw mine up on that generator right there because a lot of the times the attackers won't see it. I like to throw it on this little platform here. You can see all of rafters call out anytime they come up rafters and you also get the audio of the doorway and you can call out if they start walking into the doorway. Then the next Valkyrie camera I'm going to recommend you throw is over in con which that would be a rotate here, but obviously I can't make the rotate. I'm just going to use a nitro cell for that. And for the con Valkyrie camera, I like to throw one right here on this light bulb. As you can see, that looks a lot like the light bulb and it blends in really well. Some attackers will notice that and shoot it, but most people, when they walk into this room, they're not going to notice this Valcam here. Another good spot is up here in this corner, just because most attackers aren't going to look up in the corner when they walk in the con. But I think this one is more hidden just for the fact that, like I said, the light is hidden by this this uh, this light bulb here. And so this is a really good spot to throw it for con. Then after you throw that Valcam, I then recommend going back downstairs and throwing one Valcam into bar to watch your uh, to watch your roamers, you know, flank over here. So I like to throw my Valcam for bar over here on this radio. But you don't have to throw it here if you don't want to. You can throw it up on the ceiling or something. But I like to throw my Valcam there and that way it'll watch everything in bar for you. So that way, if the attackers start pushing this way, your roamers under here will know that they're coming. And then for Valkyrie, I like to position my Valk bottom garage. So that way you can kind of support your teammate in rafters. So that way, if the attacker starts swinging the guy rafters or looking at him pretty aggressively, you can kind of swing out and pick up the frag for your teammate. But if you start getting pressured really hard and they start opening these walls, then you either need to rotate through oil or try to rotate out of garage and save your life. Now, for the first bomb site, I'm going to recommend for console, I'm going to recommend you go top floor, the console office bomb site. What you're going to want to do is bring Frost as your first operator, and you're going to have her run over into blue right here and put her deployable shield right here. You're then going to have her run over and put a frost mat on the bathroom window. She's going to reinforce the bathroom wall here with head holes. Then she's going to run over to the console window here, put a frost mat here. And by the way, you do need to run frost on this. It can't be any operator with a shield because you do want those frost mats. Uh, there's a lot of windows on this map. Yeah, once you set this up, then you're going to put the head holes here across this entire wall. And then the last frost mat you're going to place is over here in spiral. Once you place this frost mat down, you can then play anywhere inside the bomb site with frost. It doesn't really matter. I like to normally position her somewhere near yellow, like maybe near bathroom or also over here in blue. 
But it's up to you. Just have her play somewhere near the bomb site in this general area watching yellow. Also, another thing you're going to want to do is uh, that I forgot to mention is uh, you're supposed to reinforce this wall, not put head holes. That was kind of my bad. But what? Because uh, normally people will repel on this meeting window and then they'll shoot through your head holes and, uh, you know, kill someone coming from spiral. And they can also get on that bathroom window and shoot through this wall. So this wall does need to be reinforced. Uh, I, I forgot to mention that when I was recording this the first time. But yeah. Now, the next operator you're going to want to bring is some sort of Nada now. I'm going to be choosing Jaeger for this, but you can choose Wamai if you want and have Wamai play behind the shield on blue. But for me, I'm just going to be picking Jaeger because I prefer him on this bomb site. What you're going to want to do is run over into blue, one ADS right by this couch, and then a second ADS to protect the shield. Then you're going to run over to yellow, reinforce this wall, and then you're going to place a BP right here and an ADS right here to protect anyone nading into the hallway right here. Then once you've set that up, you're then going to run over to spiral and you're going to reinforce these two walls here. Once that's done, you're then going to play behind the long desk and kind of try to protect your teammates from anyone trying to swing out on spiral or anything like that. Now, the next hopper I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Bandit. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to Catering and get the Catering wall right here and electrify it. Then he's going to run over to the uh, break room wall right here and reinforce this. You can also have him electrify this as well, but most of the time it's just gonna get shot pretty easily if they end up opening this wall. So I just put that there kind of a, to waste a little bit of time in the force in the swing, but it doesn't really do much. And then you're gonna run over to yellow and you're gonna electrify yellow once your teammate reinforces it. After that, you're then gonna roam downstairs with Bandit. I would recommend roaming somewhere in the general like visa area. So that way they can't sneak up visa stairs and kill your teammates. So play somewhere around here. And if they start pushing admin really hard, you can use your nitro from below to kill someone, which we'll get into in a minute. Now, the fourth operator I'm going to recommend you picking on this bomb site is Valk. And that's simply for the fact that she's going to provide your team with a lot of intel and she's going to allow Bandit to pick up a free kill in admin with his nitro cell. What you're going to do at the start of the round is run over to admin. You're going to reinforce this wall here. Once that's reinforced, you're then going to run over into admin here and you're going to throw a cam in admin somewhere. It doesn't really matter. You can throw it up in the corner over here. You can throw it up like literally randomly in here. It doesn't really matter. You just need it to be able to visibly see when the attackers and where the attackers are pushing from in here so you can help your teammate in a nitro. I like to throw mine up in this corner right here near the glass. This provides a lot of utility on anyone going over into break or into copy room and over here. It doesn't give you the full picture, but it does give you some intel. And then it also allows you to see the full area of break so you can get a free nitro pick if anyone pushes into here. Then the next valve cam you're gonna wanna throw is over in yellow. I like to throw a camera right here in this pot because it's hidden by the foliage. So a lot of attackers won't see it. And you can just get the info from the uh, sound on where the attackers are pushing from. And you can also see a little bit of their feet if they start pushing into blue. Then the next valve cam I like to throw is over in meeting because a lot of times the attackers wind up planting in here. And so I like to throw a valve cam up in this corner behind the glass again, right about there. This will allow you to see into the uh, meeting door. It'll allow you to see into the hallway right there in the spiral and allows you to see the catering, the catering breach. A lot of times if they get the catering breach, they'll see that and shoot it. But since you haven't banded it off, you might get lucky and they won't get it open. But yeah, this is a, these three Valcams are really, really useful. And then once you get those, you're then just gonna roam on yellow. I would recommend somewhere bottom yellow with Valkyrie. Just try to delay their time as much as possible. So that way you can help your bandit hold downstairs and kind of hold them off. Now, the final operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site, I'm going to recommend a Rooney. And what you're going to want to do is run over to Long Desk, put one gate here. Then you're going to run over to Visa Stairs here, and you're going to put Barb. Then you're going to put in a Rooney gate on this door into the bomb site. And then you're going to put your last Rooney gate on Blue Door over here to protect the deployable shield on top of all the other utility you have here. Then the last piece of barbed wire I recommend putting in this hallway right here so that with the attackers avoid blue and try to walk this way, you'll hear them walk through the barbed wire and you could swing from bathroom or something like that. Then once you set that up, you're then gonna have a Rooney play inside the bomb site in A or 
over an admin, one of the two. It depends on where the attackers start pushing from. If they get catering wall open, then you can have a Rooney fall back to the bomb site and hold off meeting. But if they end up pushing admin side, you should have a Rooney play somewhere in admin to kind of hold them off and prevent them from pushing in. Just watch out for any players on repel and then try to just delay time. And then once they start pushing in, Bandit can try to nitro them from below. And the next bomb site I'm gonna recommend you going is Garage. And the first offer I'm gonna recommend you pick on that site is Muke. What you're gonna to wanna to do at the start is shotgun this open. Head holes. Gonna shotgun those head holes. You're then going to make a rotate here. You can also make head holes across this wall as well. Then you're gonna make a rotate here. And once you've done that, you're gonna reinforce con wall here. Do the mute jammer on the wall. You're then going to mute jam this door right here. Then you're gonna run over to spiral and put a mute jammer on there. And then your last mute jammer can go over on dirt right here on this door or on the drone hole. I like to put mine on the doorway right here just to kind of support the player playing back here in this area. Once you've gotten that done, you then need to shotgun head holes across this wall. And then as mute, you're literally just gonna play right here on dirt. Your teammate's gonna reinforce the wall for you and everything, but you wanna play right here and swing off anyone trying to push up uh, dirt. You also, if you notice that they start pushing b and stuff and your teammates are calling out that they're going there, you're then gonna want to fall back into con and to not die to anyone on vert. Now the next operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Tubrow. And what you're gonna wanna do with him at the start of the round is run over here, reinforce the lockers wall and the security wall. And then you're also gonna reinforce this cafeteria wall here and these two walls right here. Once you've reinforced all of that, you're then free to play anywhere in the bomb site you want. With the tube row, I like to play in cafeteria just because you have a DMR with a uh, really long range scope. So you can swing off the head holes that your teammate's gonna put here. You can also swing off on the yellow if you need to. But yeah, I like to put tube row in cafeteria so that way, since this rotates here normally, you can swing the breach and throw uh, your gadget onto it if they start breaching it. And you can also just swing on the people if they start pushing yellow or anything like that. Okay, now for the next operator. Okay, now for the third operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site, I'm gonna recommend Cade. And what you're gonna want him do is at the start of the round, immediately run upstairs and get the hatch. Once you get the main hatch, you're then going to run down spiral and you're gonna immediately run into dirt and reinforce dirt wall as well. Now once you get dirt wall, you're then gonna run all the way back to the bomb site and you're gonna electrify the hatch and the main wall. And once you've done that, you're then pretty much done with your setup. And what I like to do with Cade is have him play inside of security to also watch yellow and also peek on to anyone coming down main stairs if they start coming down main stairs. Now, to help Cade's site setup be a little bit easier, you can also have Solace, which I'll show you in a second. Solace, you can have Solace get the hatch as well if you'd like. It doesn't really matter. And you can have uh, Cade instead just go for dirt and that's it. But uh, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm showing Cade getting the hatch and then Solace is going to get the wall, but it's entirely up to you who does what. Okay, now for the next operator, you're gonna wanna pick Wamai, and what you're gonna wanna have to do is run over and get this wall here. If you get this wall with Wamai, you're then gonna throw a magnet above the drone hole. And then once you've done that, you're then going to shoot open the top of the breach here. You can have your mute do this as well. I didn't bring the Keratos, but and but the Keratos would make this a lot easier. And then what you're gonna do is wait for the attackers to start making, uh, to start opening the breach, and then you're just gonna impact right there to impact anything off the wall. You can bring a Keratos as well, like I said, and that'll make that process a lot easier. But I was running the P12, which is why I had to shoot it with my primary. But yeah, you're just gonna impact here. If they start getting the wall, and if your impacts fail, then your two barrel can throw uh, two barrel gadgets onto the wall as well. Now for the final operator on this bomb site, I recommend Solace. And what you're gonna wanna have her do is literally just drone hunt the entire prep phase. That's all she has to do is just focus on drone hunting. Now you can have her go upstairs and get this hatch to make Cade's life easier, like I mentioned earlier. And that is probably smart as well, but it kind of just depends on what you prefer. Having Solace 100% focus on just looking for drones and where they're setting up their drones is gonna be a little more convenient than having her have to run up and go get the hatch. But that decision is entirely up to you. Now for the third bomb site, I'm gonna recommend on Consulate, what you're gonna wanna do is pick Piano. And for the first operator, I recommend picking Cade. And what you're gonna have him do is at the start of the round, make the rotate here. Now you have to be very, very careful with this because a lot of the times if you're shotgunning this out, you can accidentally open this hatch. Try not to shoot that. You can come over here and do the hatch uh, or the rotate instead to kind of avoid it. But yeah, do not shoot that hatch open. And then once you do that, you're then going to reinforce the expo wall here. And then you're gonna electrify it. And then after that, you're gonna run over to lounge here. You're gonna reinforce lounge wall and you're gonna electrify this as well. 
but you need to make for sure that you put the electric claw kind of super high up on the wall so that way it'll still get the uh wall off but they can't shoot it from lobby they have to actually push in to see it so you want to have that uh kate electric claw as high up on the wall as possible now it can be shot through here if they drone it out but once again this electric claw is kind of just here to delay time so they're gonna have to actually drone this out or push into lobby to clear this cade charge off and once you've set that up, you're then just going to have Cade play somewhere inside of the bomb site, probably an expo. And you're just going to have him delay time from the attackers walking into lounge or trying to jump through the window in the site. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Castle. And what you're going to have him do is at the start of the round, run over, make these shotgun holes right there. You're then going to have him reinforce this yellow wall here. You're going to have him Castle Barricade Yellow. You're going to have him castle barricade this window here in the hallway. You're going to have him castle barricade spiral stairs here. And you're going to have him castle barricade spiral door right here, the double door. Then you're going to run up to the top of spiral and throw a prox alarm on that door. So you know when they jump in. And you're also going to throw one right here on the window. That way, if they come spiral, you're going to know and you're going to hear it on the prox alarms. After that, you're then just going to have Castle play somewhere inside of the bomb site with Cade. They're both just going to hunker down in here and kind of swing off on anyone jumping through the the uh, the window and also to kind of hold off anyone trying to come through the window on yellow. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Valk. And what you're going to have her do is at the start of the round, immediately run upstairs and go get the hatch. Once you've gotten the hatch, you're then going to throw a cam somewhere upstairs. I like to throw one inside of this cabinet right here. This allows you to see where they're making vert holes and if they end up pushing into blue and also the secretary over there. And it also can potentially allow you to get a nitro cell kill from the bomb site. Then the next camera I'm gonna recommend you throwing is down here in spiral right here on these vines. This is a really good camera that uh, you know doesn't doesn't see a lot, but it gives you a lot of uh, a lot of audio, so you can hear if they start pushing in from bottom spiral. You can hear if they start pushing top spiral. You can hear if they walk through that double door, and you can also see it. So this is a really good valve camera because it's very rarely going to be seen, and it gives you a lot of free intel. And then the last valve camera you're going to want to throw is over here in Visa, right here on this hallway. I like to throw a valve camera right here behind the fridge because a lot of the times they're not gonna check this and you kind of need a camera in this hallway to tell uh, your player that's gonna be playing behind this desk in lobby if someone's pushing or not. So having a camera here is extremely vital. You wanna be able to tell your teammates if they're pushing here and they can't even see the Valk camera unless they actually swing out and reveal themselves. So this Valk camera a lot of times will not get shot even though it does look pretty obvious uh, to you right now. They're just going to be peeking this hallway and they're not going to be looking in the corner to see if there's a valve camera there. So this is a really good valve cam. After you've set that valve camera up, you're then going to go back upstairs and you're going to roam above. This is just to like hold off the attackers from pushing the hatch a little bit. And if you start getting pressure a lot, you can fall back to Visa or fall back down spiral stairs. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this site is Jaeger. And at the start of the round, you're going to have him run over here, put one ADS on the site window. You're then going to have him run into yellow and put his BP right here in yellow. Then he's gonna run over and get this wall here. Then you're gonna have him put one ADS over here inside of lobby behind the desk. And then you're gonna have him put one in front of the desk right here. Once you've placed those two ADSs, I'm then gonna recommend you have Jaeger roam somewhere off site. I like to have him roam up here top spiral to help, it, help the Valkyrie player upstairs. And you're both just gonna play up here, try to hold off the attackers from playing any avert. And if they start pushing you hard, like I said, fall back down spiral, fall back down visa. Just find a way to fall back without dying because like I said, you wanna waste as much time as possible. You're not trying to get kills. Now the last operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Smoke. And what you're gonna to wanna to do with him is have him run over and put one set of barbed wire on this window here. So that way you'll get the audio if someone vaults in through the window. Then you're gonna have him run over into Expo here. You're gonna have him reinforce these two walls. Once you've reinforced these two walls, you're then gonna run over into Lobby and place one set of barbed wire right here on the service uh, hallway here. And then throughout the entire round, you're just gonna play right here on the uh, on the lobby desk. You're gonna play behind it, use your smoke grenades to burn off any time on anyone coming through lobby, and also use your smoke grenades to stop anyone from pushing the hallway. And you can use the intel from that camera and this barbed wire here to kind of slow that down. And if, they, if you hear them start breaching this wall, you can also throw a smoke canister there to kind of delay that push as well. And you're just gonna sit here, play behind here. And if you start getting pushed really heavily and you need to fall back, 
just use the smoke canisters to cover you and then just try to fall back into lounge and then if you end up dying at least you waste a ton of time but yeah you're just gonna play back here for as long as you possibly can without dying and then fall back immediately back to the bomb site also if they start opening this wall you need to run back into the site immediately after they start opening this wall because if they get this wall open you're probably going to end up uh getting slammed because they're going to have an angle into lobby behind the desk and they're also going to be able to cut you off from rotating back now for the first bomb site on bank i'm going to recommend you going i recommend you going basement which is uh, the cc and lockers bomb site what you're going to want to do at the start of the round is pick smoke as your first operator and you're gonna have him reinforce the garage wall here he's then gonna run over into cc and put head holes across this wall as well as make the main rotate and put head holes across this wall once he's done that you're then gonna have him reinforce this wall here in server and you're gonna have him put barbed wire outside this door here and chalk on this hatch. In the last side of barbed wire, you can put in server. I like to put right here near the server rack. So that way, if, if uh, anyone tries to walk over behind the server rack to get cover from the breach, they have to walk through barbed wire to get there and they're gonna be vulnerable for a longer period of time to the head holes right there. Then throughout the entire round, you're just gonna have smoke play inside of blue and just hold anyone off shotgun anyone who tries to push him really aggressively and if they start pushing dirt you can obviously use your smoke grenades to smoke that off and you're also going to have players in the bomb site holding these head holes for you to kind of cover you and make for sure that you don't uh you know get pushed by an enemy inside of server but yeah throughout the round just sit on blue and use your smoke canisters and stuff to just burn as much time as possible now the next operator i'm going to recommend for this bomb site is jaeger and what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is place one ads behind cc here then you're going to run over into blue and provide two ADSs for smoke. Also, I'd recommend putting your bulletproof camera in server. You can put it in here like so. This will give you a camera into blue and allow you to call out if anyone starts pushing smoke heavily on blue. And uh, then after that, I'd recommend having Jaeger run upstairs and get the two hatches and open. You're going to have him get this hatch and then this hatch. Once those two hatches are gotten, you're then just gonna stay upstairs with Jaeger and you're just gonna roam upstairs. You can roam realistically anywhere. Just position yourself in an area where you can stop the attackers from pushing these hatches quickly. And you're just gonna hold off as much time as possible and then fall back if you start getting pressure too uh, heavily. Now for the third operator, I'm gonna recommend for the basement bomb site on bank, I'm gonna be recommending Cade. And what you're gonna wanna have him do is run upstairs at the start of the round and get elevator hatch. And then once you get elevator hatch, you're then gonna make your way over into lobby and get the lobby hatch. After that, you're then gonna run back downstairs to the bomb site and you're gonna electrify this hatch and the garage wall. And you're gonna electrify the site hatch here. Once you've done that, you're then gonna play in the garage as Cade and take advantage of your TCSG with the 2.5 to take longer range gunfights on anyone who tries to push garage. And if they don't end up pushing garage, you can then just rotate back to site and either hold elevator or something like that. Okay, now for the fourth operator I recommend for this bomb site, I'm gonna be recommending Echo. What you're gonna to wanna to have him do is run over to red here. And you're gonna have him reinforce this wall. Then you're gonna have him reinforce this wall here. Then you're gonna have him run over here and put his deployable shield down. And after that, you're then gonna have Echo go over into blue right here or gold vault and you're gonna have him throw his echo drones out and you're gonna have him move the echo drones i'd recommend keeping one inside of either cc or server so that way you can help your smoke player and you can also have it move over to blue if your smoke player needs an echo drone blue and then i recommend having the other one upstairs somewhere to support your jaeger who's roaming you want to have an echo drone upstairs to kind of provide your roamer with intel so that way they don't get caught off guard by someone and you can also use the sonic burst of your drone to kind of give your teammate a free kill while he's up here. Now for the final operator on this bomb site, I'm going to be recommending Solace. And what you're going to have her do during the prep phase is immediately run over, impact this to make a rotate here. And then you're going to have her reinforce this wall here and impact the top of this wall. I threw the impact a little bit too, uh, too high, but you want, you want holes there so that way you can actually see this white stairs and swing anyone coming down white stairs. But yeah, once you've set that up, you're then going to have Solace run upstairs and just drone hunt. 
the entire prep phase. Just run around and drone hunt, shoot as many drones as possible. Then once you've done that and you've shot on the drones, then Solace and Jaeger are just gonna play upstairs and try to hold off the push from the attackers and delay time until eventually falling back. And they can also support Smoke who's playing on blue stairs here and kind of help him hold off anyone coming square or anything like that. Now for the second bomb site on bank, I'm gonna be recommending you to go CEO. And what you're gonna wanna bring for this bomb site is a castle as your first operator. And what you're gonna wanna do is run over and castle barricade this double window here. You're gonna shotgun out head holes onto this wall. You're gonna reinforce this wall here, put a castle barricade on this wall and put head holes across here. Then after that, you're gonna vault here, put a castle barricade on the banana door, and then you're gonna run over to stock. You're gonna throw one beeper right here, shotgun this out right here to put footholds. And then once you put footholds, you're then gonna barricade it off. After that, the last thing you have to do is put a beeper on main stairs right here. After that's done, you then, as castle, you're just gonna play in the back of exec right here on your head holes that you've created and swing off onto uh, anyone who tries to push the bomb site. There will be head, sol head holes on this wall by uh, your Cade will make them. So you'll be able to see all the way into square from right here, which I'll show you right now. With the head holes on square, you can see all the way into square and swing out on anyone pushing in. And you can also, peek the hallway from right here. This gives you a really solid angle while also kind of making the attackers have to take exec to plant because they're not gonna be able to plant an A without getting killed by these head holes. Now for the second operator on this bomb site, I'm gonna recommend you bring Frost. And what you're gonna wanna have her do is at the start of the round, run over to elevator hall, reinforce these two walls here. Then you're gonna put a Frost mat on top of the banana here. After you've done that, you're then gonna go back over to meeting here and you're going to reinforce this wall and the wall next to it. You're then gonna jump up on this table, place a deployable shield down on the table, and you're gonna put head holes across this wall. Make for sure you can actually vault this. This needs to be a rotate. And then you're gonna put holes across this wall here. Now, the reason why these holes need to be here is because when Cade makes these head holes on this wall, when you're on the shield, you can see all the way into square, and it gives you a pretty good position to swing off onto people coming into square because you have this glass here that's gonna allow you to see people and swing out on them. Now, once you've made those head holes there, you're then gonna wanna put a rotate right here. And once you've made a janitor rotate, you can then reinforce this wall right here. And then after that, you're pretty much done with your setup. All you really have to do is place your other two frost mats. You can kind of place those wherever you want. Top marble wouldn't be a bad idea, but this can be seen if they drop the skylight. So it's kind of up to you whether you put one here. And then another one that you can put is in stock. You can put one on the stock windows as well. But normally, normally these will just get shot by someone. So it's kind of up to you whether you put one there. Then after you set all that up, you're obviously just gonna have Frost play on her deployable shield and swing out on people coming into square and also to swing people coming into janitor. Now for the third operator on this bomb side, I'm gonna recommend you bringing is Cade, which I mentioned earlier. And what you're gonna wanna have him do at the start of the round is run over into CEO, reinforce the CEO wall here. You're then gonna throw an electric hall down here on the wall so that way it gets both of them. And then you're gonna reinforce this wall here and you're gonna put shotgun holes across it. After you put those shotgun holes there, you're then gonna rotate over to elevator and you're going to electric claw this wall, and then you're going to barricade the banana windows. After you've barricaded those windows, you're then, as Cade, gonna sit in elevator, and you're gonna sit on your cameras, look on cams, figure out where they're pushing from, and then you're just gonna help your team hold off the hallway by sitting on elevator and holding this angle, swinging out on people coming into stock, or also kill anyone who runs past janitor door. Uh, now for the fourth operator on this bomb site, I'm gonna recommend Jaeger. And what you're gonna wanna have him do is at the start of the round, run over here to the A-bomb and put one ADS behind the bomb here. You're then gonna have him run over into exec and put one ADS right here to protect the shield. And then you're gonna have him run over to elevator hall and put his BP on the elevator hall right here. And then his last ADS, I'd recommend placing in janitor right here by the door. This ADS will protect the attackers from throwing any nades at your frost and it will force them to have to swing around and shoot the ADS, which means they're gonna leave themselves vulnerable to the frost on the deployable shield. After you've shut up those ADSs, you're then free to roam, which is what you're gonna wanna be doing with Jaeger. I recommend having him roam downstairs and open, so that way the enemy team will have a difficult time pushing square. Have him position himself here and kind of hold off the attacker's push 
just waste time. Now, the last operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is a Finrear or a Lesion. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna be showing uh, Finrear. And what you're gonna to wanna to do at the start of the round is run over to Marble, put barbed wire on Marble. You're then going to run over to Janitor over here, and you're gonna put barbed wire in Janitor Hall right here. The reason why you want barbed wire here is because the attackers won't be able to push down the hallway. They'll have to melee this to be able to, to, be able to make it across Janitor. So they're gonna have to leave themselves vulnerable to that deployable shield. Now, if they come from over here, obviously they won't have that uh, same difficulty, but they can be shot by the guy on elevator. So this piece of barbed wire is vital. Then you're gonna wanna throw one F naught on stock, one F naught top square, one F naught on uh, banana here. Then you're gonna wanna go downstairs and throw one F naught on the open window here. Then you're gonna make a rotate right here into archives. Preferably a crouchable one, so that way the attackers don't have an easy time getting through it. And I recommend throwing your last F knot either on blue door here or on the uh, closet door right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna sit inside of archives with all these F knots around and you're gonna activate them as the attackers are pushing the areas that your teammates are calling out. And you're gonna sit down here and support your Jaeger and you're both gonna play down here kind of force the attackers to clear you out before they can take square or anything like that. Now for the third and final bomb site I'm gonna recommend you going on bank is going to be open. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is bring a zombie as your first operator. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is throw barbed wire on printer window right here. You're then gonna run over to the main like marble stairs and you're gonna throw barbed wire on the basement staircase. You're then gonna go back into the bomb site. You're gonna make a vaultable rotate on this wall here. This is assuming you have the ACS-12, by the way. You might have to have another teammate do this if you don't have the ACS-12 on uh, Azami. And then you're gonna reinforce the triple wall in admin office. After you reinforce the triple wall here, you're then going to go over to staff room here, and you're going to throw one Kiba here and one Kiba on the door right about there. Now, this strategy is going to look odd, but I run the strategy all the time in my rank games, and it basically allows you to get an angle on people's feet and on the blue and stuff. And they have very little, uh, a very little uh, angle on you. So, as you can see, if I'm walking up on this, I don't even see, I don't even see uh, Azami's head at all. I'd have to move out over here to see Azami's head. So, if I'm coming out of the, the little uh, closet here, and Azami's on top of her Kiba here. She's gonna see my feet and I'm not gonna see her. And that goes for anything in this area. And you can make this even better by throwing another Kiba right about there. That extends down further and you can see their feet the entire time they walk into here and they're not gonna see you. I also like putting footholds across this as well to kind of make it even more dangerous for them to walk in. But yeah, you're basically just gonna hold this power position with a zombie and kind of hold off them from taking into square. And you can also throw a Kiba right here on this table. I ran out of Kibas because I kept breaking that one, but you can throw a Kiba right here and use that as kind of like a uh, cover. So that way, if anyone starts swinging in the site from uh, marble stairs, you can't get shot that easily. Also, another thing that you should do to help your team is shotgun out the bottom of this wall. So that way, if anyone vaults in through the window, you can shoot them pretty easily. And then once you've done that, you're pretty much good to just sit in your power position. And uh, that's about it for your site setup portion. And now for the second operator, I'm gonna recommend on this bomb site, I'm gonna recommend Cade. What you're gonna wanna have him do is at the start of the round, reinforce this open wall here. You're then gonna have him reinforce the middle wall and printer right here. Then after that, you're gonna have him run over and reinforce these two of the quad walls. After he reinforces these two quad walls, you're then gonna have him throw a Cade Electra Claw on the middle right there to get three of the four walls. And then you're gonna have him run into admin office here and Electra Claw this hatch. Now, after he's done all of that setup, you're then gonna have Cade play in the back of open to kind of hold off the attackers from pushing in through the uh, open window here. Now for the next opera I'm gonna recommend on this bomb site, I recommend Wamai. What you're gonna have him do is run over and reinforce these two quad walls here. Then you're gonna have him throw one of his magnets on the site window here. And then I'd recommend throwing another magnet over here on the site door to capture any sort of projectiles that come in at Azami. And then you're gonna have him run into uh, admin office here and pop this hatch. So that way at any point, if the defenders need to, they can fall back out of the bomb site and uh, potentially go for a retake. 
Now, after Wamai set that up, I recommend having Wamai play inside of admin office to kind of support the to support the uh, Azami and to also throw magnets into the bomb site throughout the round based on where the attackers are coming from. Now, the fourth operator I'm going to recommend you going on this bomb site is Bandit. And what you're going to have him do is you're going to have him at the start of the round run over and Kate Electro Claw or Bandit off this wall here that your teammate reinforces. You're then going to have him run into the closet here and bandit off these three walls. And then once he's banded off those three walls, you're then gonna have him run upstairs and get the janitor hatch. Then after you get the janitor hatch, you're then going to play upstairs above in stock to prevent them from getting this hatch. And you're also just gonna be roaming up here to kind of delay the eventual vert play because there is a decent amount of vert play on this bomb site. So you kind of want to have one or two roamers up here to stop them from taking control of that vert vert play now the last operator i'm going to be picking for this bomb site is lesion and what you're going to have him do is you're going to have him run over to elevator you're going to have him shotgun this hatch open you're then going to throw a goo mine right there and then after that you're going to have him run upstairs and you're going to have him throw a goo here shotgun the bottom of stock obviously and then you're going to have him make a rotate from janitor into ceo at the default position and you're also going to have him throw a goo on banana now what this is going to do is this is going to allow you and bandit to play upstairs and to kind of play off of each other and to hold off upstairs for as long as possible that's your entire goal here you can put head holes across this wall if you want so that way you can see into uh into square and you can kind of hold them off but you're not going to have a reinforcement to play behind so this is a little risky but yeah, you're just going to want to have Legion throw his goo mines upstairs to kind of support Bandit. And you're going to try to hold off the attackers from getting this vert control for as long as possible. Now, for the first operator I'm going to recommend on this bomb site, I recommend Frost. And what you're going to want to have her do at the start of the round is immediately shotgun open the rotate here. Then you're going to have her put footholds across this wall in solar. And you're then going to put a frost mat on solar stairs here. You're going to reinforce this wall. You're gonna reinforce this wall here. So you're gonna put one frost mat right here on the bathroom window. You're gonna make the closet rotate. And then you're gonna set up your deployable shield right here. And putting a frost mat on piano window isn't a bad idea either. Then once that's done, you're literally just gonna spend the entire round playing behind this shield. And you also need to shotgun these head holes. That's another thing you need to do with frost. But yeah, once you've done that, you're then just gonna spend the entire round playing with frost on these, uh, head holes and on your deployable shield and then if you need to you can swing anyone coming up solar or anything like that okay. now the next okay. operator i'm going to recommend for the master bedroom bomb site is goya and what you're going to want to have him do at the start of the round is run over to the solar door here put one goyo canister right here you're then going to have him reinforce the closet walls here once that's done you're then going to have him run over to piano here and put one goyo canister on the piano door you're then have him put one goyo canister right here on the fireplace double door if i can place it i don't know why it's not placing just place it on the ground here so that way you can shoot it from the head holes if you start getting pressured really hard and then the last goyo canister can go here on k9 right here and then once you place your four canisters you're then going to play on solar to kind of hold off the attackers from pushing over here on this side of the map and to also prevent any sort of bathroom take or anyone walking in through K9. Now, the next hopper I'm going to be recommend for this bomb site is Jaeger or Romai, because this bomb site really doesn't require either one. You can just pick one or the other. And uh, I'm just going to be demonstrating Jaeger for the sake of this video. And what you're going to want to do at the start of the round is have them run over here and put either magnets or ADSs protecting the shield right here. I'm going to be putting two ADSs here. Then you're going to have them run over to library. You're going to have them reinforce this wall here and then this wall on top fireplace. Once you've done that, you're then gonna put a BP right here to support uh, you and your team that's playing in library. And you're gonna put one ADS behind this wall here to prevent you from getting uh, too heavily flash banged or naded. Then you're gonna spend the entire round playing on library closet here and top library stairs and preventing them from taking this part of the map. If you start getting pressure too hard, you can just fall back to the bomb site and uh, you know let your anchors deal with the situation. Now, for the fourth operator on this bomb site, I'm going to be recommending you pick Bandit. And what you're going to want to have him do is run over and get the two offices walls here. Then you're going to have him get the wall right here next to the head holes. You're then going to have him electrify these two walls here. Then you're going to have him run over to solar and electrify this wall here. 
And then once that's done, you're then gonna run over to library and you're gonna electrify this wall right here. Once you've electrified this wall, you're then gonna play top fireplace with bandit to support your Jaeger player playing inside of closet. And you're both just gonna play up here and hold off any sort of push into fireplace or library. Most likely Jaeger and bandit will eventually die, but as long as they burn enough time off the clock, and make the attackers uh, attack a little bit more difficult than they've done their job. Now, the final operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Tuberau, and you can literally just have Tuberau do whatever uh, you need them to do to help the rest of your team. So you can have them run over to library and help Jaeger get the library walls. You can have them help get these two walls for Bandit so to make his life easier. Just have him reinforce any of the walls that uh, I've already demonstrated for the site setup and to, to just assist his teammates if they need it. And then once he's assisted his team reinforcing all the bomb site and stuff, he's then just gonna play right here on the uh, office breach, throw his uh, gadget on the wall when they go to breach it, to kind of delay the time for them to get the main wall open. And you, he can also watch K9 while he's playing here since he's close on half wall. And then whenever they go to breach the wall, you just throw it over the half wall here uh, to, to freeze the wall. This will kind of force them to have to either clear you out from below or to just waste a ton of time waiting for your uh canisters to run out now the second bombs i'm going to be recommending you going on chalet is wine and garage and what you're going to want to bring for your first operator is warden at the start of the round you're going to have him run over get these two back wine walls you're then going to have him run over into blue and place his deployable shield down and once he's done with that you're then going to have him run over and reinforce this wall next to the rotate now, once you've set all that up, you're then just going to have Warden play on blue on this deployable shield for the entirety of the round. Swing out on anyone who pushes blue stairs and also to swing out on anyone trying to go for a smoke plant on the recycle bins or anything like that. The main reason why you want Warden on this bomb site is because a lot of the time, since it's a garage bomb site, there's going to be a lot of smoke plants and there's also going to be a pretty high probability of the enemy team bringing class. And so you're gonna to wanna to bring Warden to kind of counter any of those strategies. Now, the next operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Cade for the obvious reasons. That there's a lot of walls you need to electrify. And at the start of the round, you're gonna have him run over here and make the main site rotate here. Once the site rotate is made, you're then gonna run over and get the garage wall here. And you're gonna use a K charge on it right there. And then you're gonna also Cade off the connector hatch once one of your roamers goes and gets that. And then once you've done that, you're then gonna run upstairs and go and get that fireplace hatch that I uh, talked about. I don't know why I said one of the roamers to go reinforce because normally you want Cade to get this hatch. And then once you have Cade get this hatch, you're then gonna have him go back into the bomb site, and he's gonna play on site, preferably somewhere inside of Wine to kind of hold off any sort of take on uh, Trench side. Now after Cade, the next operator you're gonna want to pick on this bomb site is Bandit, and you're gonna have him run over and get the trench wall immediately. Once he gets this wall, you're then gonna have him electrify it off. And you're then going to electrify these two walls here going into laundry. Then once you've done that, you're going to run upstairs and you're going to get the dining hatch here. Then once you've gotten this hatch, I like to roam somewhere upstairs with Bandit. Sometimes you can roam top fireplace. Sometimes you could roam over on trophy side, depending on where they like to push. And a strategy that I really like to do with Bandit or really any roamer is to make a hole right here on the laundry door. And this will catch a lot of people off guard, especially if they don't drone it well enough. And you'll be able to just shoot them as soon as they walk in through Big Garage. Because a lot of times when they go for a really heavy trench take, they'll walk in through Big Garage and this angle will catch them off guard a lot of the time. But yeah, you're just going to have Bandit roam anywhere upstairs. It doesn't really matter. There's going to be two people roaming upstairs. And so Bandit's just going to be one of those operators upstairs, kind of delaying their push onto the vert play. Now for the fourth operator on this bomb site, I'm going to recommend you go Jaeger. And what you're going to want to do with him at the start of the round is run over into Garage. You're going to have him put one ADS behind the snowmobile here. And then you're going to jump up here. Put a bulletproof cam here. And then you're gonna put a, another ADS right here in blue to protect the shield. And then your last ADS I recommend putting on trench doors so they can't, uh, you know, throw a ton of flashbangs through the door or anything like that. You're gonna place it right here in the corner. Then after you place your ADSs, you're then going to run upstairs with Bandit and you're both gonna roam somewhere upstairs. I like to have the Jaeger roam somewhere up top fireplace or on library stairs and then have Bandit roam in kitchen. So that way, if they start pushing up fireplace through the double door or anything like that, Jaeger can start shooting at them to distract them. And then while they're focused on Jaeger, Bandit can swing out and get some picks on anyone in fireplace. Now for the final operator I'm gonna be recommending on this bomb site is Tuberau. And literally all you have to do during the prep phase is just help your team reinforce the outside walls. That's all you have to do. 
And once you've done all of that and helped your team, you know, reinforce all the walls I've already mentioned, you're then literally just going to sit inside a snowmobile, wait for them to try to get the bandits off the wall or anything like that. And then once they start going for the breach, you're just going to throw your, uh, you know, canisters onto the wall like I've shown on every other bomb site. And if they start pushing uh, trench side, you can then come back here and start throwing your canisters on the wall to delay the push as well. Now for the third bomb site, I'm going to be recommending on Chalet. You're going to want to go bar and games. And what you're going to want to bring for your first operator is castle at the southern round you're going to run over to the mud room over here you're going to throw a beeper on mud room window and you're going to castle it off you're only going to run and put a beeper on the basement blue stairs there you're going to run upstairs castle the library hall you're also going to castle off this double door here you're going to reinforce these two walls here and then once that's done you're then going to run into library and you're gonna castle off this single window here. Then once that's done, you're then gonna have castle play behind the deployable shield that your teammate's gonna play here. And you're just gonna play here, hold off any sort of push from fireplace double window, stop them from peeking you through the piano uh, double door here, and also hold off any sort of take from the kitchen hall. Now the next operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is realistically anyone with a shield, but because Frost is the best operator in the game with a shield right now, I'm going to be recommending Frost. What you're going to want to do at the start of the round is run over to the game's window here. You're going to put a Frost mat down here. You're then going to make the head holes across this wall here and the head holes across this wall. And you're going to make the rotate right here. Once you've done that, you're then going to run upstairs. Put your deployable shield down right here. And then you're going to put one Frost mat under the single window and library right here. You're going to put one frost mat under the double window here. And then you're going to go back to the bomb site and anchor down inside of bar stock in here. And right before the round starts, you're going to reinforce this bar stock wall right here. Then, like I said, you're just going to play on the bomb site, stop anyone from vaulting in through the window, stop anyone from pushing in through mud, and also to kind of like hold off the bottom fireplace rush as well. Now for the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site, I'm going to recommend Wamai. Well, what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over, reinforce these two bar walls here. You're going to have him run over into bar stock and get this wall here. And once that's done, you're then going to have him run upstairs to the top library uh, stairs here. And you're going to have him throw a magnet right here to protect the deployable shield that's going to be placed right here. And then you're going to throw another magnet in library somewhere like here. And then once you've set that up, you're then gonna go back downstairs with Wamai and you're gonna play inside of the bomb site. Doesn't really matter where, or you can play on basement blue here. We're just gonna play somewhere near the bomb site on the first floor to support your other anchor inside of the bomb site. I like to position Wamai behind the bar here. That way he can swing out on anyone pushing kitchen hall and also swing out on anyone pushing fireplace. And he can also hop on cams for his team. Now for the next operator I'm gonna be recommending on this bomb site, I'm gonna recommend you bring Legion, which you're gonna to wanna to have him do at the start of the round is immediately put foot holes across this wall going into kitchen hall. Then once you have him put foot holes there, you're gonna have him put a goo mine on the basement stairs there going into garage. Then you're gonna have him run upstairs, get these two walls top fireplace here. Then put a goo down on the fireplace double window. Then you're gonna have him reinforce this wall here and throw a goo on the library uh, double window there. Once you've set that up, you're then gonna have Legion play on top fireplace to kind of support the guy playing on the shield there. You're just gonna play top fireplace, swing on anyone who tries to walk into fireplace or the double window and fall back if you start getting pressure too heavily. Now for the final operator I'm gonna be recommending on this bomb site, I'm gonna recommend you pick Valk and what you're gonna wanna do at the start of the round is you're gonna run over upstairs and you're gonna throw one cam inside of library up here like so this will allow you to get comms on anyone pushing into library and where they are inside of it you're then gonna want to throw a cam in fireplace i recommend throwing one right under this lamp here this will allow you to give comms on anyone pushing the fireplace door or anything like that then once you throw that cam the last cam i'm going to recommend you throw is inside of the bomb site right here above the double window so that way if they vault the bomb site late in the round and they go for a plant you'll know exactly where they go for a plant once you've got that done you're then going to have your valkyrie player play over inside of kitchen to hold off any sort of push from this side of the map you're just going to hold off uh west main side and everything like that if they start pushing this super hard and uh you need to fall back you can and you're going to want to fall back pretty early because this is a really hard area to hold 
But yeah, you're just going to play here, kind of delay their push. And then once they start pushing you very aggressively, you can just fall back over to blue or wherever you uh, can safely. Now, the first bomb site I'm going to recommend you go on canal is radar and server. And what you're going to want to bring for the first operator is warden. At the start of the round, you're going to run over to top green here. By the way, you don't have to pick warden. It can literally be any operator with a deployable shield. And you're going to have that operator reinforce the top green walls here. Once you reinforce these two top green walls, you're then going to place your deployable shield right behind this pillar on green. And then you're going to reinforce the other two green walls right here, the 90 walls. Then once you've reinforced those two walls, you're then going to spend the entire round on your green deployable shield, swinging out on anyone who pushes you. And if you start getting flash banged, obviously you can use your glasses. And if the attackers start going for a smoke plant or something like that, you can rotate back to the bomb site and help your team. Now, the next operator you're going to want to pick for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're going to want to have him do at the start of the round is run over to control, jump up on this desk and place a BP right here. This will allow you to see into the printer area and Skybridge. Then you're going to run over to Skybridge, place one ADS behind the black boxes here. Then you're going to run over to green stairs. You're going to put one ADS on the green stairs shield right here near the pillar. Then you're gonna run over, get these two red walls here. And then you're gonna put your last ADS on top red right here on, on ping near the red door. Once you've placed those ADSs down, you're then as Jaeger gonna play below under the bomb site to hold off anyone from playing vertical play to clear off the K charges or the bandit batteries. Now the next operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Doc Shotgun. The, you need the Doc Shotgun for the, a very specific strategy that I like to do on this bomb site. And so what you're going to want to do at the start of the round is run over and shotgun the holes right here on this wall. And then you're going to make the main rotate. Once that done, you're then going to run over to kill box. You're going to reinforce the left wall here. You're going to put foot holes across the wall. And then a set of barbed wire. After you've done that, you're then going to put your other set of barbed wire on red stairs. And then throughout the round as Doc, you're literally just going to play on top red and swing anyone that starts pushing you kill box. And you're going to take advantage of that ADS that's here to protect you from getting naded to, you know, get aggressive on the enemy team. And if they start breaking your barbed wire, that's going to be the, the time that you're going to want to swing out. Also, due to this shotgun, this shotgun being one of the best shotguns in the game, you can pretty easily one shot anyone that's out here uh, outside of the main breach. Now, the next top round I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Kate or Bandit. Uh, I like to pick Bandit on this bomb site just because he's a three speed with a better gun. And what you're gonna want to do at the start of the round is run over and reinforce the two outside walls. After you've reinforced these two walls here, you're then going to place your Bandit charges on them. And then you're gonna bend it off this wall here that Doc reinforces. Once you've done that, you're then with Bandit just gonna roam over printer side. You're gonna hold off any sort of tank in a printer. You can do that by playing below under printer. And you can even set up a nitro cell on the window so that way, you know, if any of them walk in, you can get a free kick onto someone walking into printer, which I believe the window is here. But yeah, you can just set up a nitro cell under the uh, floor right there in gym. And then whenever you hear the sound of them vaulting in, you can just nitro them and pick up a free pick on anyone that vaults into the window. Now, the last operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is a two brow. And what you're going to want to do at the start of the round is walk over here and make footholds with your DMR across this wall here. And you're going to want to shoot out all the windows on Skybridge so that way you can actually hear if someone walks in. And then after that, you're just going to help your teammates set up any of the reinforcements that they have to place down. And throughout the round, you're literally just going to sit right here in radar and you're going to tube around the outside wall if they start uh, opening it. If they don't go for this wall or after you start tube rowing it, they start going somewhere else like they go for the 90 walls. You can then rotate into server and help your team by freezing off the 90 walls as well. You're basically just going to want to delay them getting any of the breaches in the site for as long as possible. Now for the second bomb site, I'm going to recommend on canal. What you're going to want to do is go supply and kayaks. And what you're going to want to do is bring mute as your first operator. But at the start of the round, he's going to run over to trench. Put one mute jammer down on the trench door. You're then going to reinforce the trench wall here. After you've done that, you're then going to walk into bathroom and put a mute jam down right here on the door. You're then going to run over into scuba here and you're going to shotgun pedals across this wall and you're going to set up a mute jammer on the scuba door as well and you're also going to reinforce this wall then for your last mute jammer you can kind of just place that one wherever i like to put it right here on the site door and then once that's done you're then just going to make the site rotate and then the head holes across the top of this wall and the top of this wall that allow you to see onto main stairs. 
Then once you've set that up, you're then just going to play behind the deployable shield that one of your teammates is going to place down later in the round. And you're just going to swing off on anyone coming into trench. And you can also rotate into bathroom and deal with anyone vaulting the lockers window as well. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Frost. And what you're going to want to have her do is run over to trench, place her deployable shield down. You're then going to have her reinforce this wall here. Once that's done, you're then going to run over to uh, lockers right here. And you're going to place your frost mat down. You're then going to run into scuba and place another frost mat down. And then the final frost mat I like to put on radio window upstairs. Once you've placed all those frost mats, you're then going to go down to scuba and you're going to play inside of scuba and prevent them from vaulting in through the scuba window or the lockers window as well. And you're just going to play off your frost mats, basically. Now, the next opera I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Jaeger. What you're going to have in the, the start of the round is run over to trench and put two ADSs on the deployable shield. You're then going to have him run into the bomb site over here and put one on the scuba door. Then once that's done, you're then going to run upstairs and put your BP outside of reception hall to support your roamers. You're going to put them right here. This will allow you to see into the reception door and uh, call out if anyone starts pushing in. So it'll help, you know, support your teammate that's going to be roaming right there behind that wall. And then once you've done that, you're then just going to position Jaeger on top main. And if they start pushing main, you're going to shoot them and try to, you know, slow them down. And if they don't push top white, you can then rotate over and watch radio or something and help your teammate roam upstairs. Now for the fourth operator on this bomb site, I'm going to recommend you picking Valk. And what you're going to want to do with her at the start of the round is run upstairs. On your way there, you're going to throw a cam right here up in the corner of the hallway. You're then going to continue your way upstairs. You're going to reinforce the gym hatch here. You're then going to walk into the bomb site, reinforce this hatch here. Then after you reinforce that hatch, you're then going to throw a camera up into this corner right here. And you're going to use it to blow a nitro cell up on anyone who walks in from reception into or from archives into meeting. And then once you set that camera up, you're then going to run over to printer stairs here. And you're going to throw a camera into this drone hall. This is going to allow you to give calls on anyone coming down printer, anyone coming in through radio, and it's also going to allow you to give audio on anyone coming down scuba stairs. Once you've thrown all those Valk cameras, you're then going to go back down into the bomb site and actually play inside the site and hop on cams periodically to give calls to your roamers. And you'll leave a pre-place right here. So that way, when someone runs in to uh, from archives on ping, you can then blow it up and kill them immediately as soon as they walk in. Now, the last opera I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Legion. You can go Cade as well to get the hatches, but generally the hatches are not super important on this bomb site, so I don't really bother bringing a Cade, especially since you're going to be dedicating two people to roaming upstairs to delay that hatch. But yeah, I like to pick Legion, and what I like to do with him at the start of the round is run upstairs and then reinforce this gym wall here and then reinforce this uh, radio hall wall here. Once you've done that, I then like to run over to printer, go a goo mine down, make a rotate into gym here. This is mainly just for your Jaeger that's roaming on the side of the map. Then once you set that up, I like to put head holes across this wall for your teammate. And then once that's done, you then want to put head holes across this wall as well. And you're going to throw a goo mine on your reception and a goo mine on your lower bridge. And once you've set that up, you're then just going to play as Legion behind here. And you're just going to swing out on anyone trying to push into reception or swing anyone that tries to push into your hallway. Now for the final bomb sign I'm going to be recommending for Canal, I recommend going map and security here. And what you're going to want to do at the start of the round is you're going to run over to projector and you're going to reinforce this right wall here with Mira. Mira is being your first operator and you're going to put a mirror window down here. Chuck on the top of this so you can chuck nitros over. You're then going to run upstairs with Mira put footholds across this wall and you're then going to run in here reinforce this wall put down a mirror window and you're gonna shotgun this wall out and you're gonna shotgun footholds across this wall once that's done you can then reinforce the control hatch and shotgun open the kitchen hatch here now obviously once that's done you're then just gonna play on your mirror upstairs and try to hold off any sort of push from sky bridge or control and to try to, you know, stop the attackers from pushing up here. You do have to worry about your uh, your mirror window getting shattered by ash or something like that, which is why I'm going to have you push, uh, bring a Jaeger, which I'll show you where to put his ADSs and stuff in a minute. But yeah, so just you're just going to play on your mirror for as long as possible until it gets shattered 
and then you and your team are just gonna try to hold the upstairs because once they take vert and start opening vert holes on the bomb site it's gonna be a very difficult site to defend now the next operator i'm going to be recommend for this bomb site is jaeger what you're going to want to do with him at the start of the round is you're going to run over to the uh model room door here you're going to put an ads down in front of the mirror window and you're going to put a bp down over here on the wall then once that's done you're then going to run upstairs you're going to reinforce these two red walls here and then once you've reinforced these two walls you're then going to run over to green and reinforce these walls and after you've reinforced these two walls you're then going to run over into control and you're going to put one ADS here to protect the mirror window. And you're going to put another ADS right here in radar to protect the mirror window. Once you've placed those two ADSs, you're then going to go downstairs and you're going to play inside of the bomb site with Jaeger. I recommend if you're going to play on the bomb site, I'd recommend playing somewhere near red. So that way you can stop anyone from coming up basement. You can stop anyone pushing in through museum door. And you can also stop anyone coming lower bridge if they start pushing that really hard as well. Now for the third operator on this bomb site, I'm going to recommend a castle. And what you're going to want to do with him at the start of the round is run over castle off the projector window here. You're then going to run over to kitchen here. And you're going to castle off the kitchen door or window here. So that way your teammates can drop the hatch. You're then going to run over to green, put a beeper on green door there. And you're going to castle the outside green window. And then you're going to castle the 9D red window as well. And then your final beeper can go here on kill box. And then once you've set that up, you're then going to go back down into the bomb site. Reinforce this wall here. And you're just going to play inside of the bomb site. I like to put footholds across this kitchen uh, wall here. So that way, if anyone tries to walk into museum from kitchen or uh, from that that uh, green door there, you can just kill them as they start walking in. But you can't reinforce this wall because there's too many reinforcements upstairs to reinforce this wall. And you're doing a super hard upstairs hold. And so you're going to have to sacrifice by not having as many reinforcements downstairs that you'd probably like. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Frost. And what you're going to want to do with her is you're going to run over to Kitchen. Put a Castle Bear or a uh, Frost Mat, excuse me, on the uh, window right here. You're then going to walk over to Red and put one Frost Mat on the basement Red uh, stairs here. And then your last Frost Mat can go at the top of Green over here. And once you've placed these frost mats down, you're then going to walk over, place a deployable shield right here. So that way you and your team can swing on anyone coming printer using this deployable shield. And then once you've set up that deployable shield, you can then go over and reinforce the two outside walls here for your team. And then you're going to want to reinforce this wall right here. Once that's done, I then recommend having frost play on the top of red stairs here to support the team on anyone pushing the bomb site and to also stop them from walking in through kill box or the 90 windows now for the final operator on this bomb site i'm going to recommend cade what you're going to want to have him do at the start of the round is run upstairs and help his team reinforce these 90 walls whatever your teammates are are busy with you can reinforce the other 90 walls and then you're going to run into the bomb site or run into a uh, server here and you're going to throw cage charges on both of the walls here. It doesn't really matter where. I like to throw them inside the floor there to protect your mirror window so that way they don't get shot. And then throughout the round, you're just going to play on the head holes that are set up here to stop them from walking in through the breach. And you're also going to play behind this deployable shield here to stop them from pushing in the printer. And you're basically just here to support your teammate. If your teammate wants you to watch green, you can watch green as well and kind of hold the angle on anyone walking into green or walking up green stairs. Wow. Now for the first bomb site on cafe, I'm going to recommend you go. I'm going to recommend you go bar cocktail. And the first operator you're going to want to bring on this bomb site is Mira. What you're going to want to have her do at the start of the round is run over to cocktail here. Reinforce this wall. She's then going to put a mirror window down right here and shotgun this out. You're then going to shotgun this bar right here. And you're going to reinforce this wall and place the mirror window down. Then on your way into freezer, you can shotgun this out. And you're going to put footholds across this wall. And you're going to put head holes across this entire wall here. And the last thing you got to do is just uh, re breach open this bar right here on the default plant. Once you've done all that, you can then go over to your mirror window over here. And you can just play behind your mirror right here throughout the entire round and just swing out on anyone who tries to push into lounge and kill your pixel player. And uh, you, you are going to have to watch out for any sort of uh, ass charges getting rid of this mirror window. And you're also going to have to watch out for this rappel behind you 
but I'm going to be bringing some operators that's going to help you protect both your mirror window and also yourself from this window. And as long as you stay tucked in this corner and you don't swing out, you can't die to the guy on the window. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Castle. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to Cocktail. Put holes across the top of this wall. So they're going to have him barricade the Cocktail window here. Then you're going to have him get the white window. And then put a prox alarm down. So then gonna have him run over to the bathroom window here, barricade this off. Then you're gonna have him make a rotate from bathroom into freezer. Now, obviously you won't be able to do this, uh, go through this rotate very easily because you're gonna have head holes across this wall. But if you ever do need to rotate in from bathroom, like into freezer, you can do that. But obviously this uh, rotate's gonna be a little dangerous. But you can also use it to peek out on anyone pushing into the default plan or anything like that. And then your last castle barricade is going to go over here on ticket window. And then your last beeper can go realistically anywhere. I like to put it on the top of red door here. And then what you're gonna wanna do with Castle is you're gonna have him play inside a cocktail behind this other mirror window that your mirror plays. And you're just gonna swing out on anyone who tries to push default plant, anyone who tries to walk across CS. And you could also hold off people from pushing into new bow. Now the third operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is anyone with a shield. I'm gonna be picking Warden. What you're gonna wanna have him do at the start of the round is run over to bathroom. You're going to have him reinforce this wall here and this wall here. Then once that's done, you're then going to use your SMG 12 to open up some small head holes on this wall here. And then you're going to place your deployable shield down on pixel and you're going to run over and get the red wall as well. And once that's done, you're then just going to run over and play behind your deployable shield throughout the round. Take advantage of those glasses to kind of stop yourself from getting flash banged and also swing out at anyone who tries to smoke you off or anything like that. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bob site is Jaeger. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over into Cigar. You're going to put one ADS behind this chair. One ADS behind this couch here. You're then going to run over to Nubalk. Jump up on this table and put your BP down. And then your last ADS is going to go inside a bar to protect your mirror window here. You're gonna place it right here. And then after you've set that up, you're then gonna go with Jaeger downstairs and kind of just roam off site and stop them from pushing below and playing vert on your mirror windows or anything like that. Now, the final effort I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is a Rooney. What you're gonna have her do at the start of the round is run over to bar, put a, a Rooney gate on the CS door here. You're then gonna put in a Rooney gate on the double door into CS right here. Then you're going to run over to white and you're going to place barbed wire on white here. And then your next to Rooney gate is going to go inside of freezer right here on this side of the head holes. This will protect anyone from quick swinging the, uh, the double door here and uh, uh, immediately shooting your mirror window. They'll have to actually swing deep into CS. They'll have to swing all the way over here to be able to shoot your mirror window, which will make it a lot easier for you to shoot them with your uh, through the mirror window as well. So this Aruni gate is very important for protecting the mirror. And then once you set up those uh, Aruni gates, then the last set of barbed wire you're going to place is right here. Once you set that barbed wire down, I then like to have my Aruni player play down here in hell. The reason for this is because she can jump up on this table and shoot anyone who drops Nubalk. She can see anyone on Nubalk and then... If they start pushing below really hard, she can walk over into pillar and hold long angles with her DMR to stop them from, you know, walking into bottom red or anything like that. So this is a really strong power position to have your Rooney player play on. Now, the second bomb site I'm going to be recommending you go on cafe is kitchen. And what you're going to want to bring for your first operator is what my at the start of the round, you're going to run over into prep here. Reinforce this wall. You're then going to reinforce small bake wall here. You're then going to reinforce the wall here. Then once you've reinforced all of these walls here, you're then going to play inside of Bake throughout the entire round and use your my magnets to protect yourself from getting naded and also to protect the small Bake wall from getting opened by like an ace or something like that. You're just going to hold this power position for as long as possible because once the attackers take Bakery, it's going to be pretty easy for them to get a plant down. So you want to be able to prevent them from getting in here for as long as you can. Now, the second operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Castle. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is shotgun put holes across these two walls here. You're then going to have him make a rotate right here. Then you're going to Castle barricade the whiskey door here. Then you're going to Castle the uh, the reception door right here. Throw a beeper above it. You're then going to run over to Small Bake here. You're going to Castle barricade this. Put a beeper above it. And then you're going to make a rotate, a vaultable rotate, 
into this wall here so you can vault over. And then you're going to castle barricade this door. Once you've done that, you're then going to run over and make the red head holes, which go across this wall here. And then once you make these head holes, I then recommend having your castle play inside of Kochek and kind of swing anyone that pushes reception or from Christmas and kind of just hold off the take from white side of the map, basically. Now, the third operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Cade. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over and reinforce the freezer wall here. Once this is reinforced, you're then going to electric claw it off and you're going to run over here to the kitchen service wall and you're going to reinforce the middle wall here. Then you're going to run over to red and you're going to reinforce this wall. Once that's done, you're going to electric claw the main wall here and you're going to shotgun footholds across the prep wall here. And then once you've done all of that, you're then just going to pray, play on the prep window, hop on cams for your team, call out where they're where the attackers are coming from. And then you're also just gonna swing out on anyone who tries to push in through the big double door. Obviously this wall will be reinforced, but you can still swing out on the footholes right there. Now the next operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is a Rooney. And what you're gonna have heard do at the start of the round is run over to bake and put in a Rooney gate on the door here. Also place some barbed wire on the double door. Then once you do that, you're gonna run over to small bake, put in a Rooney gate on the small bake window. And then once you've done that, you're going to run over to the bomb site here and you're going to put in a rooney gate on the bomb site door. Then you're going to run over to red and place some barbed wire on red stairs here. And then what you're going to do with a rooney throughout the round is you're just going to play on red stairs, hold off any take from upstairs. And you're also going to hold off any sort of take from whiskey by helping your teammate with your long range DMR swing out on anyone pushing in from the backside where whiskey's at. Now for the final operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Legion and what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run upstairs and get the freezer hatch. On your way there you can then throw a goo mine bottom white here. You're going to reinforce this hatch. Then you're going to open the cigar hatch here and you're going to make head holes on prep here or foot holes I should say. Once you've done that you're then going to roam up to the top floor of the map. And once you get up here, you're basically just going to hold prep from all the way on the third floor. And you're basically just sitting up here to prevent any sort of vert play onto the bomb site. So you can set up goo mines to protect your flanks and everything. Make for sure no one's going to push behind you. And you're just going to sit on this hatch, play on prep. And then if you hear them start pushing over here on your on the vertical play on the bomb site, you can hold them off from the hatch or you can go over to bar here and you can shoot them if they start pushing in over here or you can just jump down and try to take gunfights on anyone inside of mining or inside of train as well. So you're basically just playing up here to try to prevent any sort of vertical play on the site. And you're just gonna delay as much time as possible, use those goo mines to watch your flanks and to get intel. And uh, yeah, if you need to rotate back to the bomb site, you have three staircases that you can go through to get back to the site. Now for the third bomb site on cafe, I'm gonna recommend you go reading and dining. And what you're gonna wanna bring as your first operator is Mira. And at the start of the round, you're gonna have her run over, make the laundry rotate here. Once she's done that, you're then going to have her run over to white and you're going to have her set up the exact same mirror setup that I showed you to do on uh, the cocktail bomb site. So you're going to put a mirror window right here on the top white wall here. And then you're going to run over and put a mirror window on the cocktail wall here. And you're also going to reinforce this wall here as well. Once that's done, you're then going to shotgun the entirety of this wall open. And you're also going to shotgun bathroom wall here as well. Now, what this allows you to do is this allows you to see every single angle inside a cigar and just swing out on them as soon as they start pushing. And basically, you're just going to be playing up here to prevent any sort of vert play on the reading bomb site because this bomb site is very susceptible to vertical play. And you can also set up vert holes so that you and your team can look through them as well if they start going for a plant or if they start pushing the first floor very heavily. You can just start making vert holes on the bomb site to then look through them yourself. But yeah, you're just gonna have Mira play up here throughout the entire round, play on her cocktail uh, mirror window here, and also on her other cocktail mirror window here, looking into bar. You're just gonna play in here and try to just hold off the take on Vert. Now the next operator I recommend you go on this bomb site is Castle, and what you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is shotgun put holes across the entire uh, wall here and here. And here. Once you've done that, you're then going to run to white. Castle barricade the white stairs window. 
You're gonna castle barricade the white hall window here. You're gonna castle barricade this double door here. And you're gonna castle this window right here in cocktail. Once you've done that, you're then gonna open the laundry hatch, throw a beeper on the pixel door, and throw a peeper in the basement white stairs there. Once you've done that, you're then gonna have Castle play upstairs with Mira and just apply pressure on upstairs and prevent the attackers from taking vert play. Now the third operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Malusi, and what you're gonna have her do at the start of the round is run over to the reading wall here, reinforce it. Once that's done, you're then going to put one Malusi gadget right here on the reading, reading door. You're then going to run into dining and you're going to place one Malusi gadget right here near the reading or fireplace window, sorry. Then once you've placed this Malusi gadget, you're then gonna throw an impact right here on the fireplace wall here. And you're gonna throw an impact up here on the fireplace wall. And then you're gonna place one Malusi gadget right here in the reading hallway. Then once you've done that, you're then going to have your Malusi player play inside of train the entire round and kind of hold off the take in from red side into mining and also the take from pillar as well. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Jaeger. And at the start of the round, you're going to run over and place a ADS right here on reading. You're then going to run upstairs and you're going to place two ADSs right here on this door to protect your mirror window. And then once you do that, you're then going to run over to white and place a BP right here. And then once that's done, you're then going to run downstairs and reinforce this left laundry wall. And then you're going to have your Jaeger play inside of reading and just hold the bomb site itself. Now the final operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Valkyrie. And what you're going to want to have her do at the start of the round is run over into pillar and throw a camera right here on the chandelier. This will not be seen by anyone on Nubalk because of its position and it'll allow you to see the reading door in hell. And it'll also allow you to see anyone walking in pillar. Then once you place that cam, you're then going to run over into mining, reinforce the left wall here and the right wall. And then once you reinforce these two walls, you're then going to throw a Valkyrie camera in the top right corner of mining here. And then you're going to run into reading and throw a Valkyrie camera inside of the bomb site somewhere. I like to throw it on this bookshelf right here. And then once you've done that, you're then going to have Valkyrie play on white stairs. So that way, if anyone walks up the basement white stairs, she can shoot them. And so she can also support her team that's playing upstairs by holding pixel and all of that. Now, the first bomb site I'm going to be recommending you go on border is armory lockers and archives. And what you're going to want to do is bring smoke as your first operator. At the start of the round, you're going to run over into office here. You're going to shotgun the bottom of this wall. You're then going to put barbed wire down and you're gonna reinforce these four walls and offices. Once this has been reinforced, you're then going to put barbed wire on the office's window here, shotgun the radio so it stops making noise. And then you're gonna run over to 90 here, shotgun head holes on this wall and make a rotate into security. After you set all of this up, you're then as smoke just gonna play inside of offices over here you're going to play inside of offices behind this wall and you're just going to delay any sort of push into offices and hop on cams for your team call out if they start pushing into break or anything like that and then you're just going to play right it here in offices if they start pushing you heavily you can swing them with the shotgun on the uh on the window there or you can smoke off the door and you can also rotate back to side if things really start getting terrible for you now for the second operator on this bomb site i'm going to recommend you go cade and what you're going to do with him at the start of the round is you're going to run over to armory reinforce the two walls here and then you're gonna electrify the wall off. Then you're gonna reinforce this wall here and put down the footholds. Once you've done that, you're then going to run into offices and you're gonna electroclaw off the triple wall in offices right here. Once you've placed that electroclaw, you're then going to run back into the bomb site and reinforce these two walls here. And once that's done, you're then just gonna play inside of the bomb site with Cade. I prefer to have my Cade play on the half wall so that way if they get the breach open, you have a long range site with a with pretty low recoil to take gunfights on people uh, from long distance on the balcony. But yeah, you're just gonna play inside the bomb site with Cade and uh, you know help your team by hopping on cameras occasionally as well. Now the third operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Wamai. And what you're gonna wanna have him do at the start of the round is immediately run over 290 and reinforce the 290 walls. And then once you've done that, you can then have him make the rotate if your teammate hasn't done it yet. And then you're gonna walk inside of security and set up magnets to protect yourself inside security. And you're literally just gonna play in here and delay the attacker's time for as much as possible. You can also swing on the head holes that smoke makes right here. 
You can use these uh, head holes to swing out on anyone pushing your brake door as well. But yeah, you're just going to play inside of security, hold it down for as long as possible. You likely will end up dying eventually, but you're just going to use those magnets and everything to kind of hold off your take and to protect you uh, for as long as you can so that way you can burn the attacker's time. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Goya, and we're just going to have him do it the start of the round, is run over to the armory locker's wall here. I have a place a Goyo can right here on the wall. And another one. Once you have two Goyo cans on the wall here, you're then going to run over into archives. You're going to put one Goyo can right here on the ground. Then you're going to put your last Goyo can inside a security to support your security player. You're going to go through the rotate they make here. And you're going to put a Goyo can right here on the security door. Once you've done that, you're then going to have your Goyo roam downstairs and kind of hold off the attackers from playing any sort of vert play uh, because a lot of times they'll send like a buck over here to this window and they'll try to buck out the floor and shoot the guy on half wall so you want to have goyo play somewhere downstairs in server or something like that so that way he can kill the buck or try to help your teammates when they start playing vertically under the bomb site now the final operator i'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is jaeger and what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to archives here you're having place 180s in the corner right here and then you're gonna have him place a BP inside of the shelf here, right here. And then once you've done that, you're then going to run over into offices and you're gonna put one ADS on the reinforced wall here to protect your Jaeger or your smoke, sorry. And then you're gonna put the other ADS right here on the window for the same purpose. And once you place these ADSs, you're then also going to go on a roam. I'd recommend having Jaeger roam somewhere near East stairs downstairs you're just going to play downstairs kind of hold off the attackers from pushing down below and you're also going to hold off the east stairs take as well now the second bomb site i'm going to recommend you go on border is bathroom tellers and what you're going to want to do is bring mute as your first operator and at the start of the round you're going to run over into bathroom here you're going to make a vaultable rotate right here and you're going to vault into workshop and vents or server sorry and you're going to reinforce the four vents walls here once you reinforce these four walls, you're then going to put down a mute jam right on the server door here. You're going to pop the server hatch. And you're going to put a another mute jam right here on the Harry Potter door. And then you're going to put one mute jam right here on detention door. And then the last mute jam can kind of go wherever you want. I like to put it over here on the site door right here. But you can also put it on this drone hole if you'd like or something like that. But you're just going to place the mute jam somewhere inside of the bathroom bomb site. And then once you've done that, you're then just going to play with mute inside of uh, workshop here. And you're just going to try to hold off the push into server. And also hold off the push from above as well. You can use your nitro cell to kill any vert players as well, which is uh, pretty useful. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Cade. And what you're going to want to have him do at the start of the round is make a multiple rotate into bathroom here. Once he's made that rotate, you're then going to have him reinforce this single wall here. And you're going to reinforce these two walls going into waiting. Then you're going to reinforce this wall here. Then once you reinforce these four walls, you're then going to run into bathroom and you're going to put an electric law on the hatch here. And then throughout the round, you're literally just going to sit inside of tellers and you're just going to hold off any sort of take into waiting or onto rafters, and you're just gonna hold the actual bomb site itself with Cade. Cade is gonna be the only operator actually anchoring inside the site. Everyone else is gonna be playing either near the bomb site or upstairs. Now, the next operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Valk, and what you're gonna have her do this other round is immediately make her way over to East Stairs. And then once you get up here, I recommend throwing a Valkyrie camera right up here behind the radio. This allow you to give sound calls on anyone walking in the rafters, it'll allow you to ping anyone bottom waiting, and it'll also allow you to see the office's door. Then after you throw that valve cam, you're then going to run into offices here. You're going to reinforce the bathroom hatch and you're going to run into archives here and you're going to reinforce the archives hatch. And then once you've done that, you're then going to throw a Valkyrie camera right up there inside of the hole in the wall right there, because this will allow you to see into archives. It'll allow you to see into offices. Now this cam might get shot, but the main reason why you want to run this camera is so that, that you can ping someone and then have your mute player nitro sell them from below. Once you've thrown these two Valk cameras, you can then go downstairs. And I recommend throwing the last Valkyrie camera inside of workshop or inside of server, sorry, right up here in this corner. That way you can give calls on anyone pushing into server or workshop. And then you're gonna play with Valkyrie inside of customs and just kind of hold off any sort of detention take or anything like that. 
since all the walls in here are going to be soft, they can push you out pretty easily. But you're just going to want to burn as much time as possible. And then you can fall back to the bomb site or back to server if you start getting pressured extremely hard. Now, the fourth operator I'm going to be recommending on this bomb site is Pinrear. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to detention and throw an F knot on detention door here. You're then going to have him run over to the main uh, lobby here and you're going to have him throw one F knot right there. Then you're going to have him run upstairs. Put an F knot on the archives door. An F knot on the east stairs door. And then an F knot on the break door here. Then you're going to place barbed wire on metal and a set of barbed wire in the office's hall right here. Once you set up these F knots, you're then going to roam upstairs and use these F knots to your advantage to protect you and the other teammate that's going to be roaming up here. And you guys are just going to hold off and prevent the attack for as long as possible. And you're just going to stay up here until you die. Just burn as much time as you can to stop the attackers from taking this vert play super easily. Obviously, there's a lot of soft walls up here, so they're probably going to be able to push you out pretty quickly. And if you need to fall back, you can always fall back to the server hatch or through metal or through these stairs. You're just going to have to burn a lot of time and it's going to be difficult because there's a lot of soft walls, but there's not much you can really do about it. You just have to hold off the vertical plane. Now, the final operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over into server. You're going to have him put two ADSs on the server door here. Then you're going to have him put one ADS on the detention door here. Once you've done that, you're then going to run over to the bathroom hall here. And you're going to put a bulletproof cam right here on this reinforcement. Once you've done that, you're then going to run up east stairs and you're going to roam upstairs with uh, with your fin rear. And you both are just going to hold up here for as long as you can. Like I said, just prevent the vertical play. And then if you need to, you can fall back to site if absolutely necessary. Now, the third bomb site I'm going to recommend for the map border is server and Vince. And what you're going to want to do is bring Bandit as your first operator. And at the start of the round, you're going to run over to the back workshop wall here. And you're going to reinforce all four walls. Once these four walls have been reinforced, you're then going to electrify them with your bandit batteries. And then once you electrify these four walls, you're then going to go upstairs and roam up inside of armory to prevent any sort of vertical play on the bomb site. You're going to have some additional utility up here, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, as bandit, you're just going to play behind half wall or somewhere in armory and kind of hold off the attack from above so they can't get vert control. Now for the next operator on this bomb site, I'm going to recommend Cade. And what you're going to want to do with him at the start of the round is run immediately over to server, reinforce this wall make the main rotate once the main rotate is, has been made you can then run over and throw an electric ball on the main hatch there and you're then going to run upstairs and you're going to electrify this armory wall here once you electrify the armory wall you're then going to go back downstairs and you're going to play inside of server so that way you can swing onto the main lobby door and prevent them from walking in there and you're just going to play inside of the bomb site hop on cams occasionally to help your team and yeah that's basically your entire role just playing inside of server for as long as you can. Now, the third operator I'm going to be recommending for the Vince bomb site is Maestro. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is jump up on the Vince table here. Put his Maestro cam down in the corner right here. Then you're going to have him put another Maestro cam in this corner right here. Then once that's done, you're going to put barbed wire inside of the main hallway here. And a Maestro cam on server right here. And then you're going to run over into detention and reinforce the two detention walls. Then you can place your last set of barbed wire on metal stairs. Once you've done all that setup, you can then with Maestro go inside of the bomb site and sit on your cameras and just prevent the attackers from going for any sort of plant inside of the Vince bomb site. And you can also, uh, you know, prevent them from pushing in through the main uh, wall as well or through the main door, sorry, as well. Now, the fourth operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Mute and what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to the server door here. Place down a Mute Jammer. You're then going to have him place down a mute jammer on the Vince door here. Then after that, I recommend putting a mute jam on the Vince window here. And then you're going to put one last mute jammer over on the detention door right here. And then once you've placed all those mute jammers, you're then just going to have mute play inside of customs behind this beeper's door here. And you're just going to hold off any sort of detention take and also hold off any sort of take from the bathroom side of the map as well. Basically, you're just going to have mute shallow roaming so that way you can kind of hold off other parts of the map on the first floor. Now, the final operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is immediately place one ADS on the Vince window here. And then you're going to have him run into server and put two ADSs on the server door here to protect that maestro cam. Once you place those two ADSs, you're then going to run upstairs 
and you're going to reinforce the outside armory wall here. And you're going to place your bulletproof camera right here on this wall to watch metal. So that way your team can call out if anyone starts pushing 90 on your roamers. Once you've set that up, then you as Jaeger, you're just gonna play upstairs in archives and offices side. And you and Bandit are just gonna hold upstairs to prevent any sort of uh, vertical play for the time being. Just gonna waste as much time as possible, like I tell you on every other roam. And you're just gonna play your life and try to stay alive for as long as possible and waste their time. Now, the first bomb site I'm gonna recommend you go on coastline is Billiards and Hookah. And the first operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Malusi. At the start of the round, you're gonna run over into Aqua. You're gonna place a Banshee right here on the Aqua double door. You're then going to run over to Hookah, make the Hookah rotate. And you're gonna reinforce the wall in the middle of the uh, rotation here. Once that's done, you're then going to run into Hookah, put a Banshee down right here. Then you're going to make an impact hole onto Cool Vibes and you're gonna put your last Banshee on the Cool Vibes stairs right here. And then you're gonna reinforce these two walls next to the Hookah door. After you reinforce these two walls, I recommend just having Malusi sit inside of pink. Just hold the bomb site, hop on cams and call out for a team. And she's just gonna anchor down in the bomb site since she's a three armor with an MP5. Now for the second operator, I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site, I'm gonna recommend mute. And at the start of the round, you're gonna have him run over and make the head holes across this wall. I think I'm gonna reinforce this wall here. After that, you're then gonna have him put head holes across this wall. Then once you do that, you're then going to place one mute jammer on the cool lab stairs here near the Malusi gadget. Then you're gonna put one mute jammer right here on the hookah door. Then the next mute jammer is going to go over here on the hall of fame door here. And then the last mute jammer is going to go in aqua on the luggage door. And then once you place all these mute jammers down, you're then going to play an aqua behind the counter. And you're just gonna play here, hold off the aqua take. You're gonna have some ADSs to protect you here and stuff. And you're just gonna play in here and try to stop the attackers from pushing into aqua. Now the next operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is immediately run over and reinforce the right ink walls here. After you've done that, you're then going to run into aqua and put two ADSs on your mute player here. And you're gonna place your BP and aqua right here. And then the last thing you're going to do in the prep phase is you're going to run over into hookah and put one ADS on the hookah door right here. And after you've placed this ADS, you're then going to just play on cool vibes with Jaeger and try to stop them from pushing cool vibes or into hookah as well. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending you go is Bandit. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over and reinforce the two left pink walls. Once you do that, you're then going to bandit off the four quad walls here. And once you ban it off these four quad walls, you're then going to run into VIP. You're gonna play behind the, the boxes here and also the cabinet in here in VIP. And you're just gonna hold off any sort of take from this side of the map. Now, the final operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Legion. And what you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is run over and reinforce the two outside VIP walls. You can also have him reinforce the inside VIP walls if you prefer it. This is kind of like a personal decision. If you reinforce the outside walls, it'll make it easier for your bandit to stay alive. But if you reinforce the inside walls, once they take VIP, they'll have to actually waste utility to get these walls open. So it's kind of up to you. I'm gonna be reinforcing the outside walls just because I'm setting up roamers in the VIP penthouse area. You're then going to make a rotate right here into VIP or penthouse, sorry. Then you're gonna shotgun the bottom of the bathroom wall here. You're gonna open the penthouse hatch. And then you're going to set up goose on your backside to prevent any attackers from flanking. And then you're just gonna play inside of theater. You can also set up uh, shotgun holes on the back theater wall here to hold long angles that the attackers won't necessarily expect. But yeah, you're just gonna play on the backside of the map over here and just hold off the take into bathroom and the take into penthouse while your Jaegers focus or while your bandits focusing on VIP. Now the second bomb time I'm gonna be recommending you go on coastline is theater penthouse. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is bring a castle as your first operator. At the start of the round, you're gonna run over into penthouse, throw a beeper on the bathroom hatch here, and then castle it off. You're then gonna castle off the double window here. And I'm also gonna recommend throwing a beeper right here on the double window. Then you're gonna shotgun the bottom of this wall out. And you're going to run into VIP hall here, and you're gonna castle this off. Then you're going to shotgun head holes across this wall. And you're gonna put your last castle barricade on top white right here. 
Then once you've done that, if you have enough time left to do it without getting, being at risk of getting shot, you should then barricade off the blacktop windows here. After you've done that, I then recommend having Castle play on top white to kind of stop them from flanking up white stairs and to also hold off any sort of aqua or luggage take. Now, the second operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Frost. And what you're going to want to have her do this other round is run over and make a rotate to VIP right here. You're then going to have her put a Frost mat on the double window into sight. You're going to have her run over to white and reinforce these two white walls here. And then you're going to have her put head holes across the theater wall. Then you're going to have her run over to top white here. And you're going to have her put a frost mat down here. And then you're going to have her set up a deployable shield right here on 90, looking at the head holes. And then her final frost mat can kind of go whatever. I like to hide it behind this uh, little uh, plant box here, but you can kind of put it wherever you want. After you've uh, set up the shield, you're then just going to play behind the deployable shield throughout the entirety of the round and just swing up on people when they start to push down the hallway. Now, the third operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Cade. And at the start of the round, you're just going to run over to VIP and get the two VIP walls here, the outside ones. And you're going to electrify it off. You're then going to run over and reinforce the middle wall here in between the rotate and the uh, head holes. And you're then going to run over and reinforce these two VIP walls as well. After you've done that, I'm then going to recommend having your Cade play inside of VIP and Cade trick the wall when they go to EMP it. Once they throw an EMP down, you're then just going to throw another Cade electric wall on the wall and try to Cade trick the wall to the best of your abilities. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're going to want to do with him at the start of the round is run over to the double window, place one ADS down. Then I'm going to recommend running into VIP and putting your bulletproof down over here by the TV. If I can get the vault prompt. I don't know why I'm not getting the vault prompt. Okay, you put it on the TV right here. Then I'm going to recommend putting at least one ADS in the hallway. Sometimes I like to stack two right here to protect the shield. And then once you've done that, you're then going to have your Jaeger player roam off site over near Cool Vibes. To just kind of like hold off the take from Hookah side or Aqua side and to also prevent any sort of rush up Cool Vibes as well. And now the final operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Azami. And what you're going to do at the start of the round is run over into VIP and then into the hallway here. And you're going to reinforce these two walls in the hallway. Then you're going to put one set of barbed wire on the cool vibe stairs. And then your last set of barbed wire can go on the hallway right here. Then you should probably put it a little more forward. So that way they actually have to walk up to get through them. And then once you've set that barbed wire up, you're then going to put Ebas inside a VIP that's going to help your player play in VIP. So I, like, I recommend putting like one Kiba over here to play behind as like kind of a shield, putting one here to make the uh, shelving actually bulletproof. So there, they, uh, there's no risk of getting shot while you're behind the shelving. Maybe one Kiba right here, behind here. This will potentially block off the head holes, but but you're basically just going to throw a bunch of Kibas down to help you play inside a VIP. And you're just going to play inside a VIP behind all your Kibas. And you're just going to waste as much time as possible. Also, throwing a Kiba right here on the Call of Fame door so they can't swing your door is also pretty smart as well. Now, the final bomb site I'm going to recommend for Coastline is Kitchen Service. And the first operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Valkyrie. What you're going to want to do at the start of the round is run into Sunrise and throw a Valkyrie camera on top of the uh, little like ledge here. This will allow you, you don't, you don't shoot this out, by the way. This will allow you to see into sunrise when anyone walks in and you can give sound calls on anyone under the camera. Then once you do that, you're going to run upstairs and you're going to reinforce the outside VIP wall. And then once you've done that, I'm then going to recommend you throw a Valkyrie camera somewhere in VIP. I like to throw mine up on the shelf right here, but you can throw it pretty much anywhere inside of VIP. doesn't really matter. And then you're going to throw your last camera over on white stairs right here above this light. Now, if you've thrown those three Valkyrie cameras and you've reinforced upstairs, you're then going to go back downstairs and you're going to play inside of main lobby with Valkyrie and kind of just hold off anyone from pushing into lobby and also stop any sort of office tape. You can also take advantage of some of the cameras upstairs to try to nitro someone from below if they push off or something like that. Now, the second operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Cade, and what you're going to want to do at the start of the round is run over to the kitchen wall here and reinforce the single wall and make the site rotate. After the site rotate is made, you're then going to run over to the service triple wall here and reinforce all three of these walls. 
once you've done this, you're then going to throw a cage charge down on the triple wall right here. And then you're going to run right here and put footholds across these two walls here. And you're going to throw a cage charge right here on the floor in the corner right here. This will allow you to see the, uh, this will allow you to electrify the two VIP walls upstairs. So that way your roamers upstairs can uh, not have to worry about the wall getting breached as easily. Once you've done that, you're then as Cade just going to sit inside of service and hold the actual bomb site itself, hop on your cameras, call out for your team on the Valkyrie cams and everything like that. Now, the next operator on this bomb site, I'm going to be recommending Legion. And what you're going to want to do at the start of the round is run over and shotgun footholds onto this wall. So you're going to reinforce this wall here. Then after you create those footholds and reinforce this wall, you're then going to run into Sunrise. And on your way there, you're going to reinforce the two walls here. After you do that, you're then going to run into Sunrise and put head holes across this wall here. Goo mines down in both of these areas. And foot holes across this uh, wall. Once you've set all this up, you're then just going to play inside of Sunrise with Legion. You're just going to hold off any sort of push from this side of the map. And you're also going to take a, uh, a head, uh, advantage of these head holes here and swing out on anyone pushing in from office. Okay. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Goyo. And what you're going to want to have him do at the start of the round is run over into service and place one Goyo up here on the reception door. You're then going to have him place one Goyo canister right here near the site window. Then after that, you're going to have him place one Goyo canister in here in Sunrise to help support your lesion. And then after you throw that Goyo can, your last Goyo can is going to go upstairs. And it's going to go right here in Hall of Fame to support you and the other roamers is going to be up here. And then as Goyo, you're going to create a rotate right here in the penthouse. And you're just going to play inside of VIP while your teammate's going to be playing in penthouse and theater side. And you guys are just both going to hold upstairs and stop the vert play. And if you start getting pressured too hard, you can just pop the Goyo to kind of slow their push. Now, the final operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to kitchen window. Put two ADSs on the kitchen window. Then you're going to have him run over to the service door and put one ADS on the service door here. Or, uh, yeah, door. And then you're going to put a BP on this reinforced wall. And then you're going to run upstairs and you're going to help your Goyo set up upstairs. Once you get up here, you're then just going to reinforce this middle wall right here. Once you've done that, you're then just going to roam over to top main stairs with Jaeger. And you're going to play over here, top main and theater and support your Goyo while you guys are roaming upstairs trying to stop the vert play. Now, the first bomb site I'm going to recommend you go on Skyscraper is Karaoke Tea Room. And the first operator I'm going to recommend for that bomb site is Frost. Start of the round, you're going to run over here, reinforce the top black stairs uh, wall here. Then you're going to make the rotate onto black and you're going to place your shield down here. Once you do that, you're then going to run down black stairs and put a frost mat down on the staircase. Then you're going to run back over to the geisha wall here and you're going to make the main site rotate. And you're going to put a frost mat down under karaoke window. Once you do that, you're then going to run over to geisha, put a frost mat down on the double window. And then you're going to put holes across this wall here. Then you can run back over to Geisha, reinforce the wall next to the rotate. And then once you've done that, you can then just play on your shield top black throughout the entire round. You're just going to sit here, stop them from walking in top black, and also just hop on your cameras. And if they start repelling into karaoke, you can shoot them as they repel in. And you can also help your teammate on Geisha by peeking behind the bomb right here. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Aruni. And what you're going to have her do at the start of the round is immediately run over into Dragon here, put an Aruni gate down, and then reinforce these three walls here. And after you place those three reinforcements and you put down your Aruni gate there, you're then going to walk back over to Drum here. And you're going to put an Aruni gate down here. And then you're going to put a set of barbed wire right here on restaurant stairs. And you're going to put your last Aruni gate in Geisha right here on the double window. And then once you do that, you can then go place your last set of barbed wire on black stairs here. And then you're going to spin the entire round over here on Shrine, swinging out on anyone who tries to push into Dragon. And you're just going to try to hold off the Dragon side take. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Cade. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over into Geisha. 
you're gonna have him reinforce this wall here and this wall here once you've done that you're gonna throw an electric claw down on the uh, geisha wall here and then you're going to reinforce this wall here and put head holes across it once that's done you're then going to walk over into dragon and you're gonna throw your last electric claw on these two walls here in dragon and once you've done that you're then with Cade gonna sit inside of drum and hold off any sort of take into drum and you're also going to swing the foot holes right here if they start to try to vault in through the geisha window or through the uh geisha breach now the fourth op i'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is jaeger and what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to black put one ads on black right here to protect the shield you're then going to run into geisha and put two ads's on the geisha window here then once you do that you're then going to run into drum here and you're going to put a bulletproof camera right here. That way you can watch Terrace and call if anyone pushes in the Terrace, anyone moves in the drum or anything like that. Then once you set that up, then with Jaeger, you're going to play inside of Geisha behind this wall. And you're just going to wait for them to start pushing you out, swing out. And then you can also play behind these black boxes as well. But yeah, you're just going to play in Geisha, hold off the take. If they start breaching your wall, you can have your Cade and drum watch the wall while you focus on the window. Now, the final off route I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Mute. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to Mez here. And you're going to have him reinforce the two Mez walls. Once you get done with these, you're then going to run over to Dragon here and put a Mute Chamber down. Then once you put that Mute Chamber down, you're then going to run over to T here and put another, another Mute Chamber down. Then the next Mute Chamber you're going to place is in here in Drum. You gotta put it right here on the right side of the door. And then your last mute jammer is going to go over here on the black top door here. Once you set up these mute jammers, you're then gonna have your mute player play inside of T room and hop on cam to just call out for his team. And then wherever he's needed, he can go rotate and help his team. Now, the second bomb site I'm gonna recommend you go on Skyscraper is Office Exe. And the operator you're gonna to wanna to bring for this bomb site, at least the first one, is going to be Cade. What you're gonna to wanna to do at the start of the round is run over and reinforce the office wall here. Once you've gotten these two walls, you're then going to electrify it off and you're going to reinforce this wall as well. After that, you're then going to run over to top house stairs here and you're going to reinforce this wall. And once you've done that, you're also going to electrify it off. And once you've placed that electric claw, you're then just gonna play inside of the XE bomb site and just, you know, anchor on site with Cade. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Frost. And what you're going to have her do at the start of the round is run over to the display window here and put a frost mat down. Then you're going to have her vault on to house stairs and put a frost mat down. Then you're going to have her run over to mini bar here. You're going to have her reinforce the mini bar wall and put her deployable shield down in the corner of mini bar here facing towards Terrace. And then her last frost mat can go on the terrace window here. After that, you're then going to have her shotgun footholds across the dragon wall here. These are kind of big footholds, but you're just gonna put footholds across the dragon wall there. And then you're going to reinforce this middle wall here and put holes across the top of the wall. The reason why you wanna put holes across the top of these walls is because you can jump up on this display and shoot at people who try to walk in. And that's why you want these holes here. Anyways, once you've set all of that up, you're then just going to play behind your deployable shield right here inside the bomb site, and you're just going to swing out on anyone trying to push into Terrace. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Jaeger, and what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is you're going to have him run over to the XE window here, or display window, sorry, and you're going to put one ADS down right there. Then the next two ADSs you're going to place are right here on Frost deployable shield. This will protect your shield from getting uh, naded or anything like that. And then you're going to put your BP inside of the bomb site up here next to the breach once you've placed that bp down you can then run over into xe and reinforce the two uh terrace walls here and once you reinforce these two walls you're then going to roam off site with jaeger over in drum so that way you can hold off the push from this side of the map you kind of want to stop them from taking this side of the map so they can't pressure your anchors on site so yeah you and another teammate are going to roam on this side of the map which i'll get into in a minute you're just going to hold off for as long as you possibly can now the next operator i'm going to recommend for this bomb site is smoke and what you're going to want to have him do at the start of the round is you're going to have him run over to house stairs put barbed wire down on the staircase you're then going to have him reinforce these two uh dragon walls here then you're going to have him run over to drum and once he's in drum you're going to put barbed wire on the drum door 
and you're gonna shotgun the floor right here out that way you can see into geisha if they start pushing geisha it's just to support your jaeger player and then what you're gonna do as smoke is you're gonna play inside of t and you're gonna hold off the t push with your shotgun and your smoke grenades and kind of just hold off this area of the map now the final operator i'm going to recommend for this bomb site is mozzie and we're just going to have him do it the start of the round you can have him run over to the drum and dragon side of the map you're going to have him put one pest on the t door here one pest on the other t door here and then the last pest is going to go right here on the drum door once you set up those pests you're then going to go downstairs and you're going to roam below inside of uh sushi bar restaurant area and you can also come back to master side if they start pushing master but yeah mozzie's just going to hold the first floor down and if you uh, can get calls from your team on where they are in the bomb site going for a plant, you can nitro them and try to kill them before they can get the plant down as well. Now, the final bomb site I'm going to recommend for you to go on Skyscraper is going to be Barbecue and Kitchen. And the first operator you're going to want to bring is Castle. And at the start of the round, you're going to run over into Reception over here. And you're going to castle this off. Once you do that, you're then going to castle off the stock room or pantry here. You're going to castle this door. You're then going to run upstairs and you're going to castle off the drum door and you're going to castle off the dragon door here. Then I recommend putting one beeper on the blacktop door and then one beeper on the drum door here. Once you've done that, you're then going to reinforce these two mez walls and then you're going to start setting up vert holes from up here so that way you can watch downstairs for your team and help your team out. Basically, you and three other people are going to be playing upstairs with a ton of vert holes above. So like you can watch stage here. You can watch bathroom door here. You can watch the site door right here. And yeah, you're just going to set up a ton of vert holes so that way you can watch pretty much every angle downstairs and shoot the attackers if they go for a plant. And you're just going to try to hold upstairs for as long as you possibly can. Castle specifically is going to be set up in T, but you're going to have two other roamers up here as well. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Frost. And what you're going to have her do at the start of the round is run over to the kitchen window, put a frost mat down. You're then going to have her reinforce these two pantry walls here. Once that's done, you're then going to run over to stage. Put one frost mat on the stage window here and one frost mat on the bathroom window here. Then after you've set up all of that, then you're going to go back into pantry and you're going to place your deployable shield down and play behind it. You're going to place it right here. That a pantry. And you're going to play behind your deployable shield and pantry and just hold off any sort of pantry take. Now, the third operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Cade. At the start of the round, you're going to run over and make a rotate into the barbecue uh, wall here. And once you make this main rotate, you're then going to run over to bottom black and reinforce these two walls here. Then after that, you're going to run upstairs and you're going to electric claw off these two walls up here. And then once you've electric clawed these two walls, you're then just going to play upstairs with your team. And then once you've set those electric claws up, you're then just going to play upstairs inside of Geisha as Cade. You're going to swing out on anyone trying to push the double window or push the breach. And you're just going to hold up here for as long as you can. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over and put ADSs down on this kitchen window here. You're then going to run upstairs and you're going to reinforce this geisha wall and these other two geisha walls here. And then once you reinforce this, you're then going to put two ADSs on the geisha window here and you're going to reinforce the hatch. And then your BP can go inside of Geisha anywhere you really want. I'm going to be putting it right here just so I can call out if anyone vaults the window. And so I can also later in the round potentially get a nitro kill from below with this uh, BP as well. But yeah, after you place that BP down, you're then just going to roam top black with Jaeger. This is so you can fall back to the bomb site if need be, but you're just going to play top black and kind of hold off any sort of take from stage or anything like that. And you can also hold off a take from blacktop door here. And you can also help your castle if they start pushing dragon. Now, the final operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Finrear. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to the bathroom wall here, reinforce it off. And you're going to throw one uh, F not inside of the bathroom here. One on top of stage. One on the reception door here. One right here in pantry with some barb as well. And then the last F knot is going to go upstairs on the geisha window. And then your last set of barbed wire can go on the black top door here. After you set all that up, you're then going to play downstairs inside a barbecue and just kind of prevent them from taking into uh, into stage 
and also to hold off any sort of bathroom take. Now, the first bomb site I'm gonna recommend you go on theme park is Cade. And what you're gonna wanna bring as your first operator is Cade. At the start of the round, you're gonna run over and reinforce the barrels wall here. Then you're gonna create a shotgun hole at the top of the wall. And then once you do that, you're then gonna run over and get the maintenance wall here. And you're gonna create holes above this wall as well. Once you've done that, you're then going to electroclaw the maintenance wall. And you're gonna electroclaw the barrels wall. And once you've done that, you're then just gonna play inside the bomb site with Cade and kind of hold off the attackers from pushing into Dragon or Split. And you're just gonna anchor down occasionally hopping on cams to help out your team. Now, the next top right I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Bandit. And what you're gonna have him do at this other round is run over to Yellow Wall, reinforce it. Then you're gonna have him electrify it off. And once he does this, you're then gonna have him run up Dragon. You're gonna have him Bandit off these two walls here. And then you're gonna have him run up Dragon and you're gonna have him get the hatch. Once the hatch is reinforced, you're then just gonna roam upstairs in a niche to kind of delay the vertical play. And you're also gonna have another roamer up here to support you. But you and the other roamer are just gonna roam up here, stop them from pushing control, stop them pushing waiting and all that. So that way they can't play vertically on the bomb site. Now the next hopper I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is mute. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do with him at the start of the round is run around the bomb site, place one mute jammer on the drone hole here, one mute jammer on this drone hole, you might have to break this uh, little fence thing here. Then put one mute jammer on the drone hole over here. And then your last mute jam can go on the dragon door here. Once you've mute jammed all of that, you're then just gonna play inside the armory bomb site, put a shotgun hole above yellow wall. And you're just gonna wait for them to try to go for yellow wall and then try to nitro them through the yellow hole here. Now the fourth operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Wamai. And what you're gonna wanna do with him at the start of the round is run into dragon and reinforce the two dragon walls here. Once you reinforce these two walls, you're then gonna have Wamai go back into the bomb site, and you're gonna have him, with using the holes that Cade and Mute make, you're gonna have him play near the uh, near the walls here, and you're gonna have him impact trick the wall when the attackers start trying to go for a breach. And obviously you're gonna be using your Magnus throughout the round to kind of protect the breaches and to protect the doors to the bomb site and everything like that. Now, the last operator I'm gonna recommend you go on this bomb site is Valk. And what you're gonna have her do at the start of the round is run over to Barrel's wall here and reinforce this wall. Then you're gonna have her run to yellow, throw a cam in this drone hole. This will allow you to call out anyone on the yellow breach or 90. Then you're gonna run in the dragon and you're gonna throw a camera up in this corner. Right there. And this camera will allow you to see all of Dragon, top of Dragon stairs, and also the cash hallway here. Once you throw that camera, then your last camera can go in arcade, which I'm going to throw on top of the arc on top of the spaceship right here. And this cam will allow you to see the drug door. It'll allow you to hear anyone bottom arcade. It'll allow you to see the top arcade hallway here and the arcade stairs. Now, once you throw all those cameras, you're then gonna roam upstairs with bandit either in you can either roam inside of office here or you can roam in on top dragon it doesn't really matter but you're just going to roam up here with bandit and kind of support him upstairs and you're both just going to hold off the vertical take now the second bomb site i'm going to recommend you go on this map is initiation office and what you're going to want to do at the start of the round is have castle run over into control he's going to castle barricade this wall here or this uh window sorry you're then going to have him put a beeper under this little table here. Then you're gonna have him castle barricade the dragon window here and throw a beeper on the stairs. Then you're gonna have him make a rotate into the cast wall right here. And you're gonna have him place a castle barricade down on the doorway here. And you're gonna have him shotgun head holes all the way down this wall and head holes across this wall. Then his last castle barricade is gonna go right here on the bathroom window. Once you place those castles down, you're then as castle just gonna play on bathroom right here and you're gonna swing out on anyone pushing into cash, anything like that. Now the next operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Mira. At the start of the round, you're gonna run over and reinforce this wall in office and you're gonna put a mirror window down on the wall. This will allow you to watch cash and also with the uh, head holes that your castle makes right here, you're gonna be able to see top dragon as well or the uh, dragon hallway, excuse me as you can see right here. Then once you've set this up, you're then going to make the site rotate, which goes right here in this corner. And you're going to reinforce the left wall here. Then you're gonna run into the Anish bomb site and you're going to reinforce this left wall and put a mirror window down on it. Then you're gonna want a vaultable rotate on this wall as well. 
And once you've done that, you're then, as Mira, just going to play on this control mirror window here to stop them from pushing into control or coming through the control window. And you're going to periodically hop on cams to support your team. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Cade. And we're just going to do with him at the start of the round is reinforce the two offices walls here. You're going to have him electrify them off. Then you're going to run over to a niche and reinforce these two walls as well. And you're going to electrify these off as well. Once you've done that, I then recommend having Cade play inside of the office bomb site and play behind the mirror window to kind of help castle swing out on anyone coming into cash now the fourth operator i'm going to recommend for this bomb site is jaeger what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over into the cash room here and put two ads's behind this table to protect the mirror window then you're going to have him run over into uh control and you're going to have him put one ads behind the control counter to protect the mirror window and then with his bp you're going to have him run over to Funks here, and you're gonna have him reinforce this middle wall, and then you're gonna have him put a BP on the other side of this reinforcement. You'll see why in a minute. After you set this up, you're then going to play back here inside of Bunks with your teammate, which I'm gonna show you why in a second. And you're both just gonna hold off this side of the map for as long as possible and stop them from pushing into, you know, cafe or anything like that. Now, the final operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Legion. And what you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is run over into Bunks, reinforce this wall here, and make head holes across this wall. Then you're gonna have him make a rotate right here. And then you're gonna have him shotgun this wall out right here. And you're gonna have him shotgun the entirety of this wall out here. Now, once you've done that, you're then gonna set up goose on arcade stairs and yellow stairs to kind of protect your uh, flank points. So that way you know where they're pushing from. And then the last thing you're gonna do is jump up uh, here and reinforce this vault wall. And also this cafe wall as well. Yeah, so this reinforcement can only be placed down if you don't reinforce this wall though. So you're gonna have to make a choice whether you want that break wall reinforced or this wall reinforced. Normally, I'd probably recommend reinforcing this wall, but I just showed both just for the sake of, uh, you know, demonstrating it. But you're going to choose between those two walls. Now, the final bomb site I'm going to recommend for this map is Bunk Daycare. And the operator you're going to want to bring as your first operator is Castle. At the start of the round, you're going to have him castle both the break windows. And you're going to have him make head holes across this wall and reinforce the left break wall. Then you're going to have him make a rotate right here. Then once he's done that, you're then going to have him put one red castle barricade right here on the site door because then the attackers won't be able to so easily walk into the site and play behind this half wall. And then your last castle barricade is going to go on the waiting double door right here. Then his beepers, I recommend putting one of them on yellow right here and then the other one inside of cafe. Once you've set all of that up, you're then just going to have castle play inside a break on these head holes and kind of periodically hop on cams to call out for his team and swing out on people trying to walk up yellow. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Mira, which is going to have her there at the start of the round just run over and reinforce the middle wall and bunk and put a mirror window down. You're then going to have her run over and put a mirror window down on the wall that Castle reinforces right here to see into yellow and also waiting hall. Then, once you place these two mirrors, you're then going to make the site rotate right here. And then, once you make the site rotate, you're then just going to make head holes across this entire wall. And the only wall you kind of want to reinforce is this one right here. Because if you don't reinforce this wall, then they can walk in and just plant behind this little uh, cabinet here and just avoid the mirror window entirely. So you're going to want to reinforce that wall. So that way they can't just immediately walk in. If they open this wall, they'll just have to leave themselves vulnerable to your mirror window. If they open this wall to go for a plant, they'll have to walk into here and be vulnerable to your mirror window for longer. Whereas if they just open this, they can just crouch in and they're a lot safer. So reinforce that wall. I leave all the other head holes here and this will allow you to see into cafe and anyone walking into the hallway and just kill them before they can even peek out now the next operator i'm going to recommend for this bomb site is frost and what you're going to have her do at the start of the round is run over put one of her uh frost mats on the arcade window here one of her frost mats on the arcade stairs you're then going to have her run back upstairs and put her deployable shield right here on the cafe door this will allow you to swing out on anyone walking into cafe. And it's just another line of defense that the attackers are going to have to go through if they want to go through cafe side of the map. Then once you place that there, you're then going to put your last frost mat on yellow. And then you're going to jump up on the platform here. Then once you jump up here, you're then going to reinforce this yellow wall and this wall right here. Once those two walls are reinforced, you're then just going to play behind the mirror or 
once those two walls are reinforced here, they're just going to play behind your uh, deployable shield right here and just kind of hold off any sort of cafe take. And then your castle that's playing in break can periodically hold the break room rotate so that way they can't vault into this window and kill you. Now, the next top right I'm going to be recommending for this bomb size Cade. And we're just going to have him do the around, just run over, get the yellow wall here. And then you're going to have him electric claw it off. Then you're going to have him run over into bunk and reinforce these two bunk walls. And you're going to have him electric claw it off. Then once you've placed those two electric claws, then I recommend having your Cade play somewhere on yellow so that way they can't just walk up yellow for free. And this will also protect your frost player from getting flanked from yellow as well. Now, the last stop rate I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to Cafe here. Place his BP inside of Cafe. Just allow him to see the Cafe door and everything and call out for any of his teammates when to swing. Then you're going to have him put one of his ADSs right here to protect the deployable shield. And then once you place that Jaeger ADS, you're then going to run into the bomb site and put two Jaeger ADSs right here to protect your mirror window that's going to be on this wall right here in the middle. This will help protect the uh, mirror window from getting, you know, uh, ash charged or anything like that. Or Kali or, you know, if the enemy team brings Kali, this will protect it from getting uh, kali as well. But yeah, you're just going to put two ADSs right here to protect that mirror window. And then once you put those two ADSs down, you can then kind of just go roam wherever. I like to roam with Jaeger downstairs so that way if the attackers start pushing yellow i can rotate over to yellow if they start pushing arcade i can rotate to arcade stairs and if they start going for like a dragon side take i can potentially go for a flank with jaeger and kind of catch them off guard okay now the first bomb side i'm going to recommend you go on villa is aviator games and what you're going to want to do is bring mute as your first operator and at the start of the round you're going to run over and make a rotate between the two bomb sites here you're then going to make the default head holes right here then you're going to run over into games here and you're going to make the default foot holes. Once you've done that, you're then going to place one mute jammer right here on the top main door. You're going to place one mute jammer on the main stairs here. You're then going to run back to the bomb site and you're going to place one mute jammer right here on the study door into the bomb site. And then your last mute jammer is going to go right here on the statue door looking into landing. Once you've placed those mute jammers, then as mute, you can just play inside of the bomb site. I like to have my mute play behind the bar for one main reason. Uh, you can shotgun holes into this floor right here and watch main stairs with your SMG 11 and your shotgun. But yeah, you're just going to sit inside the bomb site inside bar. You're going to hop on cams periodically to call out for your team. And you're just going to take advantage of the bar to uh, take close range gunfights with your shotgun and your SMG 11. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Bandit. And what you're going to want to have him do at the start of the round is run over and reinforce the left wall here next to the head holes. You're then going to have him run over and reinforce the vault wall here. And you're going to have him electrify this wall off. And you need to electrify this wall. Once you electrify both these walls, you're then going to run into bar and electrify these two walls off. And once you've done that, you're then as bandit going to roam down bottom main and you're going to try to stop any sort of art take. So you're going to roam down here, play in the hallway and kind of stop the attackers from taking into art very easily. And you can also rotate into library or living room to kind of stop a take from main stairs as well. But yeah, you're just going to sit downstairs and kind of hold off any sort of take from below. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Wamai. And what you're going to want to have him do at the start of the round is run over into bar. You're going to have him reinforce these two walls. Once you reinforce these two walls, you're then going to run over and reinforce this left wall in, bar in games. <clears throat> and then you're also going to reinforce this wall in games as well. Once you reinforce these four walls, you're then as well am I going to go to top main and you're going to throw magnets into study and on your main stairs. And you're going to play on the deployable shield that your teammates going to place right here. You're just going to play on the top main stairs, swing out on people trying to push into study. And you're also just going to swing on people trying to walk up main stairs. Now, the fourth operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Frost. And what you're going to have her do at the start of the round is run over to main stairs. And you're going to have her place her deployable shield right here on the top of main stairs. You're then going to have her put a Frost mat on main stairs to kind of catch any shields off guard if they try to run up the stairs. You're then going to have her run over to red stairs. And you're going to have her shotgun the carpet here and put a frost mat down inside of the carpet. Once she's done that, you're then going to have her run over to bore window here, put down a frost mat under it. And then you're going to have her reinforce the right wall. 
and shotgun out the left wall. Once you've done that, once you've done that, you're then going to have Frost play on the statue side of the map or deer side of the map. Doesn't really matter. But you're going to have a player somewhere over here so that way she can kind of slow down the take from Master. And so that she can also watch red stairs for if anyone walks up red or anything like that. Now, the final operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Maestro. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to main stairs and put Barb down on the stairs. You're then going to have him run over into study here and you're gonna have him place a maestro cam in the corner right here and shotgun open the hatch once he's done that you're then gonna have him walk into the bomb site place a maestro cam on the default plant right here this will allow you to see the vault plant and also the plant behind the, the counter here and the plant close door then once you place that maestro cam you're then going to run over to red place barb on red and then you're gonna place your last Maestro Cam in 90 on this hatch right here. But you're gonna place it facing towards bookshelves right here. And you're gonna pop the hatch so that way they have to get really close to the Maestro Cam to be able to deal with it. Then once you set that up, you're then as Maestro gonna go back into the bomb site and play inside a vault on your cameras. And if they start pushing into study, you can swing the head holes that we've made to shoot the guys walking into study. And you can also peek the study door as well. Now, the second bomb site I'm going to be recommending you go on Villa is Trophy Statuary. And the first operator you're going to want to pick is Warden, specifically with a shotgun. Or a sp and the reason for this is because I like to run a very specific strategy on this bomb site. And what you're going to want to do at the start of the round is have Warden shotgun the head holes across this wall. The head holes across this wall. You're going to have him make the Astro rotate. You're then going to have him run over into bathroom and make a rotate into the closet on the right wall right here. Once he's made a rotate, you're then going to reinforce the two other walk-in uh, walls here. And you're gonna place your shield down behind the doorway right here. Now, what you're gonna do with Warden throughout the round is you're just gonna sit inside of this closet and swing people who try to push in through this uh, through the window here, or who try to nade you through the window. You're just gonna swing them and shotgun them. And then you're also gonna be able to hold anyone walking into the bathroom by and swing out and kill them if they start pushing bathroom as well. But yeah, you're just gonna be holding closet playing behind your shield to stop them from pushing in the master. And you're gonna have some ADSs on you to protect you from getting naded. You're just gonna sit here, swing out on people who try to push in and just hold it down for as long as you can. Now, the next operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Jaeger. What you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is run over and reinforce these two statue walls here. Once you've reinforced these two walls, you're then going to run over and put a camera on the fireplace right here. And then you're going to run into closet, put one ADS in front of the shield right here and then two ADSs on the window. Once you've placed those ADSs, you're then going to run back to the bomb site, and you're just gonna play inside of deer throughout the entire round, hopping on cameras occasionally to help out your team, and you're just gonna play like an anchoring role with Jaeger inside of the bomb site, watching fireplace window and stuff. Now the next operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Cade, and what you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is run over and reinforce the middle astro wall here. You're then gonna have him run over to the bomb site wall here and electrify this off. These two walls here then once you electrify that off you're then going to run over to 90 and you're going to reinforce the 90 wall and you're going to electrify it off and then once you've done gotten this set up you're then going to with Cade play on 90 and kind of swing off on any intel you get from the default cam you're just going to hold this down for as long as you can while one of your teammates is watching red now the fourth operator i'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is frost and what you're going to have her do this other round is run over and place a shield on fireplace door here <laughs> So that way you can watch the closet and also all of the windows here. Then you're going to have her place one frost mat right here on fireplace window. One frost mat on bathroom window. And then you're going to have her place her last frost mat on top red. You're going to have her place it right here inside of the uh, red carpet. Once you've placed the frost mat there, you're then going to reinforce this left wall and put footholds on the right. And once you've done that, you're then going to play on red with frost and kind of stop them from pushing from bottom red and also stop them from walking into AV from study. And you're just gonna work together with Cade to hold this side of the map for as long as you can. Now the final operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is Valk. What you're gonna have her do at the start of the round is run into master here, throw a cam under this table. You're then gonna have her run over to study side. And once you make it to study side, you're gonna throw a cam into the bookshelf right here next to these books. Once you throw a camera there, you're then going to run over to red stairs. And once you make it to red stairs, you're then gonna throw a camera on the red stairs right behind this plant. And then once you've thrown those cameras, 
You're going to have one watching red, obviously. That's going to allow you to give comms on anyone walking up red. One on the bookshelves hall to call out to your Cade when to swing and all of that. And then one on your master bedroom to call out to your Jaeger or uh, your warden, sorry, when anyone starts pushing this area. Once you set up those Valcams, you're then going to run back to the bomb site and you're going to play inside of Astro to stop any sort of Astro stairs take. And you're also going to play in Astro so that way you can support your uh, your warden player and not let anyone walk in from bathroom and kill him. Now, the last bomb site I'm going to recommend you go on Villa is Kitchen Dining. And what you're going to want to do is bring Kate as your first operator. And at the start of the round, you're going to run over to Pantry Wall here. You're going to reinforce it off. And you're then going to throw an electric law on the wall right there. Then you're going to run upstairs. And once you make it upstairs, you're going to reinforce the triple wall here. Now, once you reinforce this triple wall, you're then going to electric law it off as well. And you're going to set up holes across the wet ha the red hallway wall here and you're going to set up head holes across the memo wall here once you set all of that up you're then with Cade you're once you set that up you're then going to make an astro rotate here and you're going to play upstairs with Cade holding inside of deer so that way you can watch into memo if anyone starts pushing memo and so you can also stop them from vaulting into the fireplace window there's going to be another teammate up here with you playing inside of astro but you're both just going to play upstairs and hold any sort of a uh, vert take so that way they can't play completely vertically onto the bomb site. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Valkyrie. And what you're going to have her do this other round is walk over and put footholds across the laundry wall with her deagle. Then once she makes the footholds, you're going to have her reinforce the right wall here. After that, you're going to run up the red stairs and you're going to throw another red camera right here behind this tree. And you're going to run upstairs into master and throw a Valkyrie camera somewhere in here. I'm going to be throwing it in the same place I showed earlier. Uh, it, it kind of landed wrong. You want it to land on the wall itself. Then once you throw that camera, you're then going to run down Astro. And you're going to throw a camera right up here in the corner inside these vines. Once you throw that Valk camera, you're then going to go back upstairs with Valk. And you're going to play upstairs with Cade. And you're going to play inside of Astro. Kind of stop anyone from pushing in the bathroom. And you're just going to hold off the take up here. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Jaeger. What you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to China here. Reinforce the China wall. Then reinforce the middle Tetris wall here. Then you're going to have him run over to Pantry and put one ADS on the door here. And you're going to have him run around and put a BP on the Pantry wall. Once he's done that, you're then going to have him run over to the laundry door here and put one ADS on the laundry door. And then another ADS on the laundry door. Then once he's done that, you're going to have him run over into Memo and reinforce these two Memo walls. Now, after this is done, you're then going to have Jaeger go roam over in the living room side of the map and just kind of hold off a take from over here, kind of roam over here. And if your enemy team and and if your teammates need someone else to rotate upstairs, like if they start pushing red side and stuff, you can have Jaeger flank up red and potentially swing people coming from 90. Now, the next operator I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Pulse. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run upstairs. And you're going to have him reinforce this hatch right here. Once you get this hatch, you're then going to have Pulse go back down to the bomb site, And you're going to have him play inside the site. And you're going to have him call out the position of all the attackers upstairs to your team. Ping them. And then he can also potentially get a free Nitro Silk kill, kill from inside the bomb site. But you're, the main reason why you're picking Pulse is just to give those comms to your team upstairs that's roaming. And you're just going to call out as much as you can to them and give them that info. Now, the final operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Goyo. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over and make the rotate into China. You're then going to have him run into Laundry and put one Goyo can right here in Laundry. Then once you place that Goyo can, you're then going to run over to Pantry here and put two Goyo cans on Pantry. You're going to put one right here on the pantry door, and then you're going to put one Goyo can inside of pantry. Then your last Goyo can is going to go. Then once you place those two Goyo cans, your last Goyo can can either go on the China door here or in Memo. I like to put mine in Memo right here because normally you're going to have someone play in here. And then once you place this Goyo can, you're then just going to have Goyo play inside of Memo and kind of hold off any sort of take from Red Hall. And you can also have him make a hole on the top of this wall to swing out on anyone pushing Z hall. But yeah, you're just going to have him play right here, hold off any sort of take from this side of the map while your Pulse player is playing actually inside the bomb site. And if Pulse ends up needing help, you can rotate back to the site and help him out. Same thing with Jaeger, who's playing over in living room. Now, the first bomb site I'm going to be recommending you go on Outback is going to be Party Room. And the first operator you're going to want to bring on this bomb site is Frost. The start of the round, you have a run over to Supply here. 
make a rotate into the wall here. Once you make this rotate, you're then going to put your shield down right here. Then you're going to put one frost mat right here on garage window. And then you're going to put one frost mat on the garage stairs over here. Once you've placed that, you're then going to go back to the bomb site, make the site rotate right here. And you're going to rake the head holes across this right wall here and reinforce this wall. And your last frost mat can go on shark stairs on the mid platform here. And then once you've done that, you're then just going to play as frost right here in Mez. You're going to play like top Mez here so you can hold off the terrace take and you can also hold off the shark stairs take and you're just going to play on these head holes and kind of hold off the attackers push from anywhere on this side of the map. Now the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Cade and what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over put footholds across this wall here so that way you can swing garage stairs. You're going to reinforce the left wall. Then you're going to have him run into bull. Reinforce these two walls. And then once you reinforce those you're then going to electrical it off. Then you're going to run over into office supply here or the supply room. And you're going to throw a K charge on this wall once it's reinforced. Then after you do that, you're then going to run over and reinforce the right wall here on office supplies. And then and then once you do that, you're then just going to play inside of the office bomb site. Swing out on anyone who start tries to come up garage stairs on your uh, on your player behind the shield. And you're also going to swing out on anyone who tries to walk into bull from the door. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is smoke. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over and reinforce the supply wall here. Then you're going to have him run into garage and put barbed wire down. Then you're going to have him run over. Then, then once you do that, then you're going to have him run over to shark. And you're going to have him put barbed wire on the bottom of shark stairs. Then once he's done that, you're going to have him run all the way back to the bomb site. And you're going to have him play behind the uh, shield that's going to be right here. Obviously, there's going to be a rotate already here, but you're just going to have him play behind this shield. Peek up on anyone who tries to vault the window in garage. Have him smoke off his other window if he starts getting pressured super hard. Or smoke off the stairs as well if he absolutely needs to. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Mozzie. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is reinforce these three walls and party right here. And then since you're out of reinforcements, you can choose to put footholds on this wall if you want. It's kind of up to you, but you're going to have to have a different operator do that. Then once you do that, you're then going to run over into games here you're gonna have mozzie put one pest on the showers door here you're gonna have him put one pest right here on the dorms door and then you're gonna have him put his last pest on the back stairs and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna have mozzie play inside of showers to kind of hold off any sort of take from bunks over here or dorms here's how i'm gonna swing out on anyone who tries to push this side of the map when they open the wall you can slow that down as well and you're just going to play here along with the lesion, which I'm going to show you in a second. You're both going to roam over here and just hold off any sort of push from this side of the map. Bomb. Now, the final operator yeah. I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Wamai. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to Bull. Make the footholds on this wall that I discussed. Now, once he makes those Keratos footholds, you're going to have to rotate here. The point of those footholds is so you can swing out on anyone trying to push the Bull door and kill them. Now, they can get this wall open from the Bull window. So you are going to have to watch out for that. And if they get that wall open, they can then see somewhat into the bomb site. And they can also make more holes onto this wall, which is why you're probably going to want to put at least one magnet on this window. But these foot holes are extremely useful for killing anyone trying to walk into bull or walk in from bull into the bomb site. So make foot holes on this wall. Then once you do that, then once you do that, you're just going to help your teammates reinforce the walls on site. And then once the prep phase is over, you're going to throw two magnets on this shield to protect it. You're probably going to throw one under this window here, maybe right there. And then one under this window over here. And this will just kind of protect the shield a little bit. And then once you throw two magnets on the shield, the rest of your magnets are gonna go on the other side of the map on the roam. So you're gonna throw those two magnets. And then while you're on the roam over here in showers, you're gonna throw one on the bull window here. And then the other three magnets can just kind of be used throughout the round while you and Mozzie are playing over here in piano and showers. You're going to position with my more specifically on top reptile and you're just going to sit in here kind of swing out on anyone pushing in through dorms and you can set up some magnets here if you start getting pushed as well but you and mozzie are just going to hold this side of the map try to burn time and try to capture some of their drones as you're doing it as well now the second bomb side i'm going to recommend you go on this map is red bedroom and green and what you're going to do is bring frost as your first operator at the start of the round you're going to make the main site rotate here and then you're going to reinforce this middle wall here next to the site rotate then once you do that, you're going to run over 
reinforce these two closet walls. Then you're gonna put your one of your frost mats on the bathroom window here. Then once you place that frost mat, you're then going to run upstairs. Then once you get up here, you're gonna put one frost mat right here on the dorms window and one frost mat on the showers window. And then you're gonna place your deployable shield right here in showers. Then once you place the shower shield, you can then play inside of showers off this deployable shield. Swing anyone who tries to push into dorms or anyone who tries to push in through the breach. Now the next op red I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Bandit. And at the start of the round, you're gonna have him run over to the red wall here and reinforce the wall here. Then you're gonna have him a Bandit claw this off or a Bandit charge this off. Then you're gonna have him run upstairs and you're gonna have him reinforce these two dorm walls. Once these two walls are reinforced, you're also gonna bandit them off. And then you're gonna run back downstairs to the bomb site. And you as bandit, you're just gonna play on site on your bandit charged wall here. You're gonna make, ha you're gonna shoot open a hole above your wall here. And then once they start breaching this wall, you're gonna throw your nitro on the roof and blow up anything that gets put, put on the wall there. So you're basically just gonna trick with your nitro cell. And you can also try to nitro from below as well. If the attackers start pushing uh, dorms really hard, you can put a nitro under the window and try to kill them that way as well. Now the next op I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is the Jaeger. And what you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is run over to bathroom, put one singular ADS on the bathroom window here. You're then gonna have him run upstairs. You're gonna have him put two ADSs on the showers window here, like so. This will also protect your deployable shield. Then after he places these two ADSs, you're gonna have him run over into piano here. Reinforce the piano hatch. Barricade the terrace door. Watch your roamer's flank. And you're gonna have him barricade the games uh, door here. And once you've done all of that, then with Jaeger, you're going to run over to reptile stairs. You're gonna place a BP right here. And then you're just going to play top reptile with Jaeger, kind of hold off anyone from walking into the reptile stairs breach. And you're also going to be able to stop anyone from walking into dorms free. And you're just going to play here along with Frost behind the shield. And if they start pushing backside, then Jaeger can rotate and watch Frost flank while Frost focuses on the dorm side of the map. Now, the next opera I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Cade, which you can have him do at the show of the round is run over and reinforce these two walls here. You're then going to have him run over into the closet. You're gonna have him electric claw off the closet breach and electric claw off the hatch. And once you've done that, you're then just gonna have Cade sit inside the bomb site, up on cams periodically to call out to his team, and also take advantage of that nitro cell he has to potentially nitro someone over this. And he can also jump up on this fridge once you uh, pick the last operator that I'm gonna be discussing. They'll be able to destroy this cabinet and you'll be able to vault up onto the fridge and peek up on these holes here as well. Now the final operator I'm gonna recommend for this bomb site is a zombie. And what you're gonna have her do at the start of the round is run over, impact this closet here. So that way you can jump up. Yeah, then once you melee that, you can then jump up on the closet here. And you can peek up over this into the hallway and watch the hallway with, uh, you know, Cade, which Cade's gonna be playing over here. Then once you do that, you're gonna throw one Kiba on the master bed here to actually play on the bed. So that way you can actually play on the bed and it's a safe position. Then you're gonna throw one Kiba right here behind the A-bomb so that way this isn't uh, see-through. If they get the breach open, you can actually play behind the bomb. And then you're basically just gonna play throughout the round inside the bomb site and throw more Kibas inside the site to give you more power positions. Because the problem with bedroom is that there's a, it's a lot of open space. And so it's very difficult for you to hold down this area effectively without Kibas that can give you cover to actually play behind. So you're just gonna set up Kibas inside the site to kind of give you power positions. Another thing you can do as well that I've experimented with is you can open up this wall with a zombie as well. That way you can see all the way into reception. And then you can have Cade jump up on this reinforced wall here and just peek up periodically and shoot them as they walk into reception. But it's a little more of a risky play, so that's entirely up to you. But I do like setting up these headholes sometimes because it'll catch people off guard. But yeah, you're just gonna have a zombie play inside the site and give her team power positions to play on using her Akibas. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Now the final bomb site I'm gonna be recommending for Outback is the laundry bomb site. And what you're gonna wanna bring as your first operator is Frost. And what you're gonna do at the start of the round is set up the same shield I demonstrated earlier in showers. You're gonna have her put a frost mat on the uh, dorms window here. You're also gonna have her reinforce this dorms wall. Then you're gonna put one frost mat on the reptile stairs here. Then you're gonna run over to Yano here. 
and you're going to make a rotate into the showers right here. And once you and once you make this rotate, you're then going to put your last uh, cross mat right here on the games window. And then once all that's done, you're then going to play behind your shield inside of showers, peek up on people pushing into dorms and everything like that. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're going to have him do this other round is run over to Terrace. And you're going to have him put his BP in the back of Terrace right here with an ADS protecting it. Then you're going to have him run over into showers and put two ADSs on the showers window here. Then once you do that, you're going to have him reinforce this left showers wall. And you're also going to have him reinforce the two terrace walls here. Then after you reinforce these three walls, you're then going to have Jaeger play inside a piano watching the terrace to kind of protect his BP in there. And you're going to have one of your teammates hop on the BP and call out if anyone starts to walk in or anything like that. And Jaeger can start swinging out on them. And this is kind of going to help you hold the terrace side of the map and stop anyone from pushing shark side. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Castle. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over and castle this hallway window. And you're going to have him throw a beeper on the reptile stairs. Then you're going to have him reinforce the left wall here inside the bomb site. Put footholds on the right wall. Then once you do that, you're going to have him run over to Terrace, castle barricade this double door. Then you're going to have him run into games here, castle barricade the games window. Put a beeper on the game's door and then your last castle barricade can kind of go wherever you want it i like to put it on the showers window here and then once you castle all of that you're then gonna play with castle inside of games and you're just gonna kind of hold off the take from the game side of the map over here you're just gonna play behind any sort of cover that you can get and you're just gonna hold off any sort of bull take now the next operator i'm gonna be recommending for this bomb side is bandit and what you're gonna have him do at the other round is run over into games and reinforce these two walls. Once he's reinforced the game walls, you're then gonna have to bandit them off. And then you're gonna have him run over into dorms over here. And you're gonna have him bandit these two walls off as well. Once he's banded these walls off, you're then going to have bandit roam downstairs under the bomb site. And you're just gonna have him play down here, prevent any sort of take into reptile. And then if you start hearing that they're pushing shark side or something, you can potentially go for a flank. Now the final operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb side is Tuberow. And what you're gonna have him do at the and what you're gonna have him do throughout the entirety of the round is you're literally just gonna have him sit inside of Top Reptile. And you're gonna have him throw his freeze canisters at the dorm's wall. And if they don't push this side of the map or they stop pushing it because you're applying too much pressure and they start rotating over to get the terrace wall or the games wall, you'll have him rotate and help his team by freezing these walls off. But yeah, you're just gonna have Tuberal play wherever they're pushing from and you're gonna have him throw uh, his freeze canisters on the wall. Most likely you're gonna end up playing on Reptile though and kind of holding off any sort of push from Reptile stairs and also stopping them from pushing into the breach with your canisters and also the window. What you're going to want to have Tuberau do during the prep phase is you're going to have him run over and reinforce the two showers walls here. And once you reinforce these two walls, you're then going to make the main rotate into the bomb site with your nitro cell. And then you're just going to have play Tuberau play. And then you're just going to have Tuberau play in the positions I mentioned earlier, which is top reptile or in piano to kind of stop the breach. Now, the first bomb site I'm going to be recommending you go on Emerald is CEO admin office. And what you're going to want to do at the... And what you're going to want to bring as your first operator is smoke. At the start of the round, you're going to run over, make a rotate, a vaultable rotate right here. You're then going to make footholds across the orange wall here, along with some barbed wire. Then you're going to run over to green hall here, and you're going to reinforce the piano wall. Then you're going to run over to green stairs, put one set of barbed wire on green. And then as smoke, you're just going to play close in piano right here and kind of burn time by smoking it off. And then if they start pushing in on you, you can swing out with your shotgun and potentially pick up a frag or two. But you're just going to play here for as long as you can. Smoke off green stairs if they start pushing green. And you're just going to hold this side of the map for as long as you can. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Cade. And we're just going to have him do it the start of the round is run over and get this outside wall here. Then you're going to have him Cade it off. Then you're going to have him Cade off the triple wall here and then you're going to run over to the rotate here reinforce the right wall to meeting and the left wall to meeting here and you're going to put head holes across the wall like so and then once you've set up this area of the bomb site you're then just going to have Kate play inside of meeting and kind of hold this side of the map 
peek the window if, to stop them from vaulting in through the uh, the window there into CEO. And also just kind of hold off this side of the map so they can't push R either. Now, the third operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Azami. And we're going to have her do it the start of the round is run over to meeting here. Reinforce these two walls. Then you're going to have her throw one Kiba right here on the window. So that way your teammates can't get shot while they're playing in the bomb site. Then you're going to have her run over to green and put one set of barbed wire on the green door here and one set of barbed wire right here going to hunting. Then you're going to have her throw a Kiba right here. So that way smoke doesn't get naded as easily through the, that little hole in the wall. And then after you set that up, you're then just going to have a zombie play inside the bomb site right here. Swing out on anyone pushing in to uh, hunting. And you're just going to have her throw her Kibas in the bomb site periodically around the round uh, throughout the round to give her teams more cover. Like a good Kiba is right here on this door because then the hunting window can't see into the bomb site. So, so throwing a Kiba right here is pretty good. And it also gives you an angle into hunting, allowing you to see people's feet when they can't see you. And then another Kiba that's really good is right here on the counter in meeting to give your team like an actual shield to play behind in the back of the bomb site. But yeah, you're just going to throw your Kibas inside the bomb site to kind of play behind. Another really good Kiba's right here. But yeah, you're just going to set up Kibas in the bomb site for you to play behind and you're just going to play inside of admin and just hold the actual bomb site itself. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over and put a BP on the green stairs right here. This will allow you to see down green and call out to your Jaeger if anyone, or your smoke, sorry, if anyone starts pushing up green. Then you're going to have him run to green, and put two ADSs behind the door here to protect smoke. Then you're going to have him run over to the bomb site and put one ADS under the site window. And then after he does that, you're then going to have him run into art and reinforce the outside art walls right here. And then once you reinforce those two walls, you're then just going to have your Jaeger play either on orange stairs or you're going to have him play inside of art and just kind of hold this side of the map so that way they can't take it so easily. And to kind of delay their take into the orange side of the map because the, the common takes on this map are green or orange. And so you want to stop the orange side by having one of your players play on this side of the map. Now, the final operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Malusi. I wish you could have her do at the start of the round is run over and put one Banshee right here in the clock hallway. Then you're going to have her put one Banshee on the piano door here that for your smoke player to play off of. Then you're going to have her run over to storage. I meant archives, not storage. And then you're going to have her put a Banshee right here on the uh, gallery door to kind of help your Jaeger player and to have him swing off of. And then once you place that Banshee, you're then going to have your Malusi player. And then once you place that Banshee, you're then going to have your Malusi player go over to the green side of the map and she's going to play bottom green. The reason why you want your Malusi player to play bottom green is to kind of stop uh, your smoke player from getting flanked. So she's just going to rat bottom green. And if they start going for it, she can shoot them. And if they don't go for bottom green, she can just rotate back to the bomb site by going up the green stairs and she's pretty safe. Now, the second bomb site I'm going to be recommending you go on Emerald is meeting and art. And what you're going to want to bring is your first operator's castle. At the start of the round, you're going to run over here. Castle barricade this uh, window. You're then going to shotgun footholds across this wall. Then you're going to castle off this uh, CEO window here. And you're going to throw a beeper under the desk right here. Then you're going to run over to orange and barricade the clock window here. Then you're going to throw your last castle barricade down on the site window right here. And then your last beeper can go on the orange stairs right here. Then once you have castle barricade all of that and you've put down all your beepers, you can then reinforce this left clock wall here and put footholds across the right side. And once you've set all of this up, you're then going to have your castle player play on orange stairs to kind of watch the orange side of the map and to also prevent them from vaulting in through the orange window or anything like that. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Cade, and we're just going to have him do it the start of the round, just run over and reinforce the meeting wall here. And you're going to have him electrify it off. Then once he electrifies that off, you're then going to have him make the main rotate here. And then once the rotate's made, you're then going to have him make a vaultable rotate into the breach here, like so. And then once you make that vaultable rotate, you're then going to reinforce the vault wall here. And you're going to electrify this off as well. Once you've catered off both those walls, once you've catered off all those walls, you're then going to have Cade play inside of the bomb site right here behind the deployable shield that your teammate's going to make. 
and he's just going to hold the angle into the bomb site and stop them from taking in the meeting. Now, the next op I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is a mute. And at the start of the round, you're going to have him run over into the bomb site here. And you're going to have him reinforce this wall. You're going to have him put a mute jam down in this corner. Then after he puts that mute jam down, you're going to have him put another mute jam right next to it. Then you're going to have him run over and reinforce this wall next to the vaultable red tape. Then you're going to have him put a mute jam on the orange stairs here, right here. Then after that mute jam, you're going to have him run upstairs and mute jam off this uh, door into admin here. Then after you mute all of this off, you're then going to have mute play inside of the bomb site uh, inside of gallery here. And you're just going to have him play close on archives and kind of stop them from pushing into archives by playing close with the shotgun and kind of taking gunfights on anyone who tries to walk in. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is either a shield operator or a zombie. You can kind of pick both. Um, but I like to pick a zombie just because the Kibas provide a lot more utility. And what you're going to want to do is throw one Kiba right here or place your deployable shield right here with your shield operator. This is, I placed this kind of high. You actually want this a lot lower. You want it like here. Fact is kind of like a shield for you to jump up off of. But you also would uh, place a deployable shield here so that way you can swing out on anyone trying to push in through meeting. Or when they get the wall open, you have something to play behind. Then once you place this Kiba here, I then recommend placing one Kiba on the meeting uh, little like cabinet here so that way it's actually bulletproof and you can play on it. Then I recommend placing one Kiba on both of these wooden walls here in the bomb site. And these are going to provide you with actual cover inside the site so that way you can't just get shot through every piece of cover in the site. And then once you place those Kibas, you're then going to reinforce the wall next to the rotate. And you're then going to run over into admin and reinforce the outside wall here. Then after you do that, you're then going to set one set of barbed wire right here in the admin door. And then you're going to set another set of barbed wire. Then once you place that barbed wire, you're then going to place another set of barbed wire over here on the library stairs. And then after you do all of that, you're then just going to have a zombie play inside of uh, admin over here. And you're going to have her just sit inside of admin and kind of hold off any sort of push admin side. Most likely they will try to push over in green, but you're just going to try to hold off this side of the map for as long as you can. And once you start getting pressured, you can then fall back into the bomb site, into CEO or wherever you end up falling back to. But yeah, you're just going to play a zombie right here, kind of hold off the take from this side of the map. Now the final operator I'm going to be picking on this bomb site is Jaeger, and what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is walk over to the archives door here, and put one ADS down on the archives door, and then put a BP right here. Then after you do that, you're going to have Jaeger walk into the meeting bomb site, and put one ADS right here in front of the shield, and then one ADS right here on the meeting door. And then after you place those ADSs, you're then just going to go down orange. You're just going to roam anywhere below the bomb site. Doesn't really matter. I like to position my Jaeger somewhere near bottom green so that way he can help a zombie hold the green side of the map as she starts getting pressured. And so he can also rotate whenever he needs to back over to orange if the attackers start pressuring the bomb site super hard. But yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to recommend you play Jaeger somewhere on green stairs so that way he can help his zombie hold this uh, side of the map. Now, the final bomb site I'm going to recommend for this map is Dining Kitchen. And the first operator I'm going to recommend you pick on this bomb site is a Cade. And we're just going to have him do this other round is make a multiple rotate into the uh, breach here. And you're going to have him reinforce the left wall. Once you have him make a multiple rotate there, you're then going to have him reinforce the two pantry walls here. And you're going to have him electric claw those off. Then you're going to have him throw his other electric claw on the site hatch right here. Once he's electric clawed the hatch and he's electric clawed the two walls there, then he's pretty much done with his prep phase. All he really has to do is make the site rotate right here. And then once Cade makes the site rotate, I recommend have him play somewhere in kitchen so that way he can jump up on this counter, potentially swing people on the window and also swing people coming in from fountain. Now the next operator I'm gonna be recommending you go on this bomb site is a Jaeger. And what you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is run over to kitchen, reinforce these two walls here. Then after that, you're gonna have him put one ADS right here, pantry. And then you're going to have him put one ADS right here on fountain and then one ADS on top of the fountain here. Once he's done all that, I then recommend putting a BP inside a fireplace right here. And then after he set all that up, you're then going to have Jaeger run upstairs 
and you're gonna have him get the hatch once Hager gets the hatch you're then just gonna have him play upstairs with another teammate and you're both just gonna hold off the vertical take for as long as you possibly can you eventually will likely get cleared out of up here but you just want to delay time and potentially pick up a frag or two before the enemy team's able to take the vert control. Now, the third off I'm going to recommend for this bomb site is Castle. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over into Fountain. You have him barricade this Fountain door here. You're going to have him throw a beeper into the back entrance here. And you're going to have him Castle barricade this door as well. You're then going to have him reinforce this wall. And then you're going to have him throw one Castle right here on the lobby door and then one castle right here on the bathroom door now the reason why this setup is important is because a it allows your team not to have to worry about this long hallway or getting flanked from lobby until they actually hear the castle barricade break and you can put a beeper above it as well so they'll absolutely know when someone's in this hallway which means that your player playing inside of the bomb site can swing out on orange without having to worry about getting flanked and your roamers can come back down orange without having to worry about this hallway and then these castle barricades over here are super important because it allows castle to play actually on the fountain which is what you're going to be doing you're going to play on the fountain in here and you're just going to swing anyone trying to push him from bar and you're also going to hold off anyone from trying to push the library stairs here and by you clear, like merely holding this position it's going to make the attacker's life a lot harder for taking the fountain area now the next off i'm going to recommend for this bomb site is legion and what you have him do at this other round is run over to orange and reinforce this wall once you reinforce these two walls you're then going to put a goo down under the window here and you're going to run upstairs put footholds across this wall and you're going to put footholds across this wall as well and you're just going to throw goos around upstairs to cover you and jaeger's back and then what you're going to do as legion is you're just going to play on orange stairs and kind of swing anyone that tries to walk in through the uh the 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 vault breach there and also you're going to help your uh, jaeger hold off any sort of archives take and you guys are just going to hold up here hold the vertical play for as long as you can and just kind of work together now the final operator i'm going to recommend for this bomb site is malusi and what you're going to have her do at the start of the round is run into pantry I put a banshee right here on the pantry counter this means that anyone inside a pantry as soon as they walk in here they're going to get hit by the banshee which means they're going to get slowed and the people inside the bomb site can shoot them pretty easily so they'll have to clear it from the window and then the next banshee you're going to want to place is over here in orange under the orange window then your last banshee then after you place that banshee your last banshee is going to go over in fountain and it's going to go right here by the bar door after you've placed all your banshees you can then go back into the bomb site and you're going to reinforce the left wall right here and then you're just going to sit inside the bomb site hop on cams periodically to call out for your team and you're just going to hold down the bottom orange area with malusi to kind of prevent this area of the map from getting pushed now the first operator i'm going to recommend for night haven is servers command and what you're going to want to do is bring smoke as your first operator and at the start of the round you're going to have him run over make the rotate right here into connector make for sure it's a vaultable then you're going to have him re reinforce these two connector walls here then once that's done you're then going to reinforce this meeting wall here and then you're going to place one set of barbed wire in the meeting hall here and you're going to place your last set of barbed wire on the electrical window here then once you've done that you're then just going to have your smoke player play right here inside a connector and play close so that way if anyone tries to push in through connector door you can shotgun them and you could also pull out your smg 11 and swing out on people pushing in through meeting or pushing main hall and then once they get the breach you can then just fall back to electrical and hold electrical with your shotgun and play close range to stop them from walking in on the window or walking in through the door now the next operator i'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is cade and what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to it reinforce these two walls here you're then going to throw a cade electric claw on the wall here then after you do that you're going to run over and make the default head holes across this wall and you're also going to put the default floor holes here and the default footholds across these two walls as well and once you set up all the footholds and head holes on this side of the map you're then going to rotate over to connector you're going to throw an electric claw on the connector wall outside and you're going to throw and you're going to throw a reinforcement down right here on the left wall of connector and then you can go back into the bomb site once you've done all that setup you're then just going to have Cade sit in the back of command over here and you're going to just have him peek out on the footholds here and watch top warehouse using his long range weapon to watch the footholds like i said and then you can also have him swing out on people who walk deeper up rafters 
on these footholds as well. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over to blue here, reinforce the right wall. You're then going to have him reinforce the middle rafters wall here. Then you're going to have him run over to electrical door here and put two ADSs on the electrical door. And then you're going to have him put one ADS right here on the connector door to protect your smoke player with a BP in the hallway. Once you set all that up with Jaeger, you're then going to have Jaeger go roam off site and you're going to have him roam below. Just kind of play on the bottom of the map down here to kind of like slow their take into storage because a lot of the time the attackers will try to take storage so they can play Vert and uh, get the bandits off the wall and stuff. So you're just going to have your Jaeger play on the bottom of the map down in storage and you can also have him flank main stairs if things really start getting bad. You can have him try to flank the guys on main or he can just come back to the bomb site up below. Now the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Tube Route. What you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over and reinforce this server wall. Then once you reinforce this wall, you're then just going to have your Tube Route play inside of IT and just kind of wait for them to go for the wall and then she's just going to throw. Then once you reinforce this wall, you're then going to have your Tube Route play inside of IT and you're just going to have him throw his uh, freeze canisters down on the wall to kind of stop the breach. And if the attackers start pushing connector, you can have him rotate over to the uh, rotate that's gonna be here and throw his freeze canisters through the rotate onto the connector wall as well. But yeah, two is just gonna play inside of the bomb site and in IT to kind of stop the, the breach from getting off. Now, the final operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is mute. And what you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is run over to warehouse, put a mute jammer right here on the warehouse door. You're then gonna have him come over to the site door and put a mute jammer on the IT door into the uh, bomb site. Then you're going to have him put one mute jammer right here on the electrical door. And then you're going to have him put his last mute jammer over here on the connector door. Then once you place all these mute jammers down, you're just going to have mute play inside of the bomb site in the back of server right here to, to support his teammate playing a connector. And you're just going to have him swing out on anyone walking into connector. And you can also have him throw a nitro cell from the rotate that's normally here. You can have him throw a nitro cell over the rotate to blow up anyone walking in through connector. And if he needs to, and he starts getting pressured a lot and the bomb starts getting pushed, he can drop this hatch as well. But yeah, you're just gonna have mute play right here on the connector reinforcement inside the bomb site and periodically hop on cams for his team. Now the next bomb site I'm gonna be recommending you go on Night Haven is gonna be assembly and tank. And what you're gonna wanna do is bring Mira as your first operator. And at the start of the round, you're gonna have Mira run over into nanotech here. You're gonna have a reinforce the right wall and put a mirror window down right here on this wall. You're then gonna have her run over and reinforce this left wall or this uh, right wall here, right of the mirror window. And then you're gonna have her make a rotate, a vaultable rotate into this bomb site. Once you run over to this mirror window, you're then going to run over to nanotech wall here, looking into EXO, and you're gonna put another mirror window down right here. Then you're gonna use your shotgun to make footholes across this wall. Once you've done all of that, then Mira's pretty much free to do whatever she wants because that's all she has to do for the prep phase. But yeah, you're just gonna have Mira play on her mirror windows inside of Nano, going in between that mirror window and this one. This one is by far the stronger one because it's on the main breach. And you're just gonna play right here, wait for the attackers to go for a plant and you can move up and nitro cell through the rotate there, killing the planter. And yeah, you're just gonna play behind this mirror window for as long as you can burn time, and then also, like I said, nitro the plants when they go for a plant. Now, the next operator I'm gonna recommend you go on this bomb site is Cade, and what you have him do at the start of the round is run over into Animus here. You have him reinforce the Animus wall, and you're gonna electroclaw it off. You're then gonna put footholes across this wall, and you're going to run into assembly here, and you're gonna reinforce the two assembly walls. And you're gonna once again, throw another Cade electroclaw on this wall. You're then going to run over to cargo, and put the cargo footholes. Then once you've done all of that, Kate is pretty much done with the prep phase. You're just gonna have him play inside of tank, hold off any sort of take into Animus. And you're also gonna have him periodically hop on cams for his team and call out where they're pushing from. Now the third operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Jaeger. And what you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is run over with two ADSs and assembly behind these boxes here to protect your mirror window. You're then gonna have him run over and put a BP right here on the exo door. Then once he places this BP, you're gonna have him run up and get the exo hatch. And after you get this exo hatch, you're then going to run into warehouse and get the warehouse hatch. After you get the two hatches, you're then gonna run back to the bomb site and you're gonna place an ADS right here 
on the assembly bomb to protect anyone inside of Exo. Once you've done all of that, you're then just going to have Jaeger play inside of Exo, periodically hopping on cams, and you're just going to have him anchored down inside the bomb site to help out the rest of your team. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Solace, and literally what you're going to have her do is run over to Cargo, reinforce this left wall here. Then you're going to have her run upstairs and just drone hunt during the prep phase. That's all you're going to have her do. Just run around, drone hunt. And you can also, uh, another thing that you can do is run into storage and throwing an impact right here. Then once you throw this impact here, you can then run upstairs and go play inside of IT and play on those vert holes. So that way, when the attackers go to play vertically on the bomb site, you can kill them through that hole. Then if the attackers realize that you're upstairs and you need to rotate, you can then just run over into servers here, pop this hatch and drop into games and you can take the gunfight directly to the attackers. But yeah, you're just gonna spend the entire round upstairs with Solish just burning time, shooting drones and trying to stay alive for as long as you can to delay the vertical play uh, push on the bomb site. Now for the final bomb site, now for the final operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site, I'm gonna recommend Tuberal once again. And literally all you're gonna do during the prep phase is just help your teammates reinforce the walls inside of the bomb site. And then once you help your teammates reinforce all the walls that I demonstrated, you're then just gonna have Tuberal play inside of assembly. And then when the attackers go for the wall, you're just gonna use your canisters to delay the wall getting open. That's literally gonna be your entire job throughout the round. You're just gonna sit here and throw these canisters on the wall when they go for the, when they go for the breach. And then you're also gonna just periodically hop on cams to call out to your Solace roaming upstairs. And if they eventually get the wall open, you can then just fall back deeper into the bomb site and just help your team hold it down. Now for the final bomb site I'm gonna be recommending for this map, I'm gonna recommend Kitchen. And the first operator you're gonna to wanna to pick for this site is Aruni. And at the start of the round, you're gonna run over, put footholds across this wall. Then you're gonna run over and Aruni gate this uh, doorway here. You're then gonna place barbed wire in the hallway. Then you're gonna run back here, barricade these two doors. And once you barricade these two walls, you're then going to walk into lounge here reinforce the lounge wall and you're going to put an aruni gate on the storage door here a set of barbed wire and then you're going to run over to vending here and make the vending vaultable rotate on this side of the wall once you make this vaultable rotate into vending you're then going to reinforce the right wall and then the last aruni gate you can kind of place wherever i typically like to either put it on the kitchen window or onto this uh, door into the bomb site. It's kind of up to you. But once you've placed that last Aruni gate down, then your prep phase is completely over. And you're just gonna play with Aruni inside of a uh, lounge here. And you're just gonna swing out on anyone trying to push in through warehouse. And you can also walk over to the hallway here and swing people pushing in through the hallway to kind of shut down any sort of take from lobby. Now, the next operator you're gonna wanna run on this bomb site is Cade. What you're gonna do at the start of the round is run over to the cafeteria wall here and reinforce it. And then you're gonna throw an electric claw right on the wall here. Then after you do that, you're gonna run over to kitchen, reinforce this wall. Then you're gonna run over to pantry, throw an electric claw on the hatch right here. And then you're gonna reinforce this left wall. Then once that's done, you're then just going to play inside of the bomb site with Cade throughout the round. Doesn't really matter where. You can play inside of kitchen, play in pantry, doesn't matter. But you're just going to play inside the bomb site, occasionally hop on cams to call out for your team. And you're just going to hold off the push into the site, obviously. Now for the third operator on this bomb site, I'm going to be recommending, I recommend Jaeger. We're just going to have him do it at the start of the round, just run into the hallway here, put his BP down. You're going to have him, then once he places that BP down, you're going to have him walk back into the bomb site and put... 180s on the cafe door here, or the cafeteria door. Then you're gonna have him put 180s on the window here. And then you're gonna have him put the last ADS right here next to the breach. Once he's placed all three of those ADSs and his BP, you're then gonna have him run over into the lounge wall here and reinforce it. And then once that's done, you're then gonna have Jaeger run upstairs and you're gonna have him roam upstairs with another operator. And they're just gonna kind of delay the time of the attackers taking the lobby area and kind of hold off the vertical take for as long as they can. Now, the next operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Legion. And what you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is run upstairs. Then you're gonna have him reinforce the two outside connector walls. And then once that's done, you're then gonna have her and then once that's done, you're then gonna have Legion set up a few goo mines upstairs in preparation for the hold up here. You're gonna have him shotgun foot holes across this wall here. And then once that's done, you're going to open this window 
And then when the prep phase is over, you're going to have him run outside and reinforce this hatch. Once the hatch has been reinforced, you're then going to jump back inside, put holes across this wall. And then once you do that, you also probably want to make a rotate into the connector here. And then once you do that, you and Jaeger are literally just going to sit upstairs, hold off the take upstairs as long as you can. You're eventually probably going to get cleared out. And once you do, you can either pop the lounge hatch here or you can just fall back down blue or down rafters. Now the next operator, now the final operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Goyo. And we're just gonna have him do it the start of the round is immediately jump up on the cafeteria half wall here, put a Goyo down. Then once you put this Goyo down, you're then gonna have him walk over to the other cafeteria uh, door here, put a Goyo can down as well. Then once that's done, you're then gonna have him run over to the hallway outside of lounge and put a Goyo can down for a Rooney. And then the last Goyo can is going to go right here on the storage door. Once you've placed all those Goyo cans down, you're then going to go back inside of the bomb site. And you're just going to sit inside of the site and hold off any sort of take from the attackers. And you're also going to periodically hop on cams just like all the other anchors. Now, the first bomb site I'm going to be recommending on our last map layer is Master and R6. And the first operator you're going to want to pick on this bomb site is Azami. At the start of the round, you're going to run over to the op room. You're going to reinforce the left wall here. You're then going to put head holes across this wall. And you're also going to put head holes across this wall as well. And you're going to reinforce this left wall. Once that's done, you're then going to put a Kiba right here. That's kind of like a makeshift deployable shield for you to play on. And then once you set that up, you're then going to run over and make the rotate into server right here. And you're going to make a vaultable rotate right here. Then after you make this vaultable rotate, the last thing you have to do with the zombie is run over to the main stairs, put footholds across the bathroom wall here, put barb on the main stairs. Then once that's done, you're then just going to have a zombie play on the op door here, swinging out on people who try to push in the op. And you can also use your kibas throughout the round to kind of support your hold in here. And you can also throw some on this side of the map as well to kind of help your team hold the actual bomb site itself. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Cade. And we're just going to have him do the start of the round is run over to the outside mask wall here. And you're going to have him reinforce both the walls. Once you do that, you're then going to throw an electric claw on the wall here. You're going to put a head holes across this wall. Once you do that, you're then going to run over into our six room and reinforce this wall going into, um, I believe this is security. No, this is storage. Yeah, so you're going to put uh, two reinforcements right here onto the storage wall. Then you're going to throw a cage charge down right here. Then after you do that, you're going to reinforce the left wall going into the actual security room. And then once you do that, you're then pretty much free to play anywhere in the bomb site. I like to have my cage just play on these head holes that kind of support the teammate holding op room. So that way you can kind of like swing out on anyone pushing into that room. And you can also help hold top main stairs as well. Now, the third operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Smoke. And at the start of the round, you're going to have him run over to server here or security here. And you're going to have him reinforce this left wall and then put foot holes across the right wall. You have him put barbed wire on the display room window. Then once you place that barb there, you're then going to put your next set of barbed wire in the hallway outside the bomb site here. Then once you place that barb, you're then just going to play with smoke inside of the R6 room. So kind of you can hold the door into the bomb site and you can also watch display room. And you can also have smoke rotate into uh, server or security if you want and have him smoke off the site that way from inside a server. It's kind of up to you, but I typically have my uh, smoke player play close on B bomb, but it's entirely up to you pretty much. Now, the fourth operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Asami. And at the start of the round, you're going to have her run over into uh, op room here. And you're going to have her put a gate right here on the op door. Then once you do that, you're going to have her run back to the bomb site. And you're going to have her put a gate right here on the R6 room door. Then once you have her do that, you're then going to have her put a gate right here on the display room door. And then after you've set all of that up, you can then have her. And then after you set all of that up, you can then have your Rooney player play inside of server to kind of support the other anchors inside of the bomb site, swing out on people pushing in through the door and stuff like that. 
Now the final operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Tuberel. And where you're gonna have him play is literally just inside of the bomb site on master. And you're just gonna have him freeze off the main wall here if they start going for this or freeze off the uh, the storage wall here if they start going for this. And during the prep phase, you can just have him reinforce any of the walls I've already mentioned for the other operators to kind of help them out. But yeah, you're just gonna have Tuberel focus on dealing with uh, stopping the walls for as long as he can. Now, the second bomb site I'm gonna be recommending for you to go on this map is going to be support and lab. For your first operator, you're gonna to wanna to pick Cade. And at the start of the round, you're gonna have him make the main rotate here into the bomb site. After you make that rotate, you're then gonna have him run over to warehouse. Here you're gonna have him reinforce these two walls. Then once you reinforce those two walls, you're then gonna run over to the missile wall and you're gonna reinforce this and you're gonna electrical out on. Then your other electric claw is going to go all the way on the back of the bomb site over here on these walls here. And once you electric claw those walls, you're then free to play anywhere in the bomb site. I recommend having Cade play on the back of the bomb site, watching into uh, filtration there, so that way he can prevent any sort of flank from the attackers. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Aruni. And what you're going to have her do at the start of the round is run over to lockers here. You're gonna have her melee the wall, put head holes across it. Once you've done that, you're then gonna have her run over and reinforce these two walls here in lockers. Once you reinforce these two walls, you're then gonna have her put a gate right here on this door. Another gate on the missile hall right here, along with some barbed wire. And then the last gate is going to go right here on the lockers door. Then you're gonna have her run over to the back of the bomb site and put one set of barb right here on the filtration stairs or blue stairs. Then you're gonna run back to the bomb site and you're gonna have her play inside of lab to kind of swing out on the head holes and lockers and to take advantage of her long range DMR. Now the next operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Wamai. And we're just gonna have him do it the start of the round is run over to the filtration wall here and reinforce it. Then you're gonna run into the lab bomb site and reinforce the toxin wall here. And you're gonna put head holes across the wall with your Keratos. Then once you've set that up, you're then going to run over into warehouse and you're gonna set up magnets to protect yourself. And you're just gonna play inside of warehouse for as long as you can without dying. They're eventually gonna get the wall open and they're going to push you out. But once they push you out, just fall back either into lockers or fall back to missile. And you're just gonna hold this part of the map as well until they eventually push you out again. Now the next operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Solace. And what you're, what you're gonna have her do at the start of the round is run over to the blue stairs. And you're gonna run upstairs and get both the hatches. One of the hatches is right here in Armory. And then the other hatch is over here inside of Lobby. Once you've got both these hatches, you're then gonna have Solace just roam upstairs to kind of stop the vertical play on the bomb site because there's a lot of vertical play on this bomb site and a lot of attackers like to do it. So you're just gonna delay that, that push with Solace for as long as you can. Now the final operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Goyo and what you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is run over and put a Goyo can right here in stock. Then you're gonna have him run over to missile and you're gonna have him put a Goyo can and you're going to put a Goyo can right here on the locker's door. I recommend putting two here. And then the last Goyo can I recommend placing is right here in the missile hall. So that way you can swing out and shoot it from missile to prevent them from pushing down the hallway. And once you place those Goyo cans, you're then as Goyo going to play inside of warehouse to support the Wamai. You're both just gonna kind of hold off this push from the map. You can also try to play in barrels if you want but you're gonna have to watch out for the window. So it's kind of up to you whether you play in here. Now, the final bomb site I'm gonna be recommending for this map is bunks and briefing room here. And what you're gonna wanna do is bring Cade as your first operator. At the start of the round, you're gonna run over and get the outside wall in bunks right here. And you're going to put a, an electric claw on this wall here. Then you're going to run over and reinforce the right wall here in briefing and put a vaultable rotate in the left wall here. And once you get that wall with the Kate Electric Claw, you're then gonna run over and get the bottom green wall here. And you're gonna Electric Claw this wall off as well. Once you do that, you're then just gonna play with Cade inside of the bomb site, and obviously hop on cams periodically to support your team. You're just gonna play inside the bomb site and kinda, you know, hold the bomb site, obviously. Now, the next operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Warden. And what you're gonna have him do at the start of the round is run over, reinforce the briefing wall here. You're then gonna have him place a deployable shield right here on the door into uh, 
security here. That way you can swing up, shoot anyone who tries to walk in. And you can also use your glasses to stop yourself from getting blinded by any sort of flashbangs. And yeah, that's what you're going to do. Once you reinforce these two walls and you place your deployable shield down, you're then free to just play inside the bomb site behind this deployable shield and just hold off any sort of take from over here. Now, the next operator I'm going to be recommending for this bomb site is Smoke. And what you're going to have him do at the start of the round is run over into security here, put footholds across this wall, and reinforce the right wall here. Then you're going to run over to the yellow stairs here and put Barb down on the staircase right here. Then you're going to run up yellow stairs and put barbed wire right here on this door. And then throughout the round, you're literally as smoke just going to sit on the yellow stairs. The reason why is because if they try to walk in to security to deal with your warden, you can just shoot them through these footholds. And then you can also just hold the yellow stairs take because a lot of times attackers will try to sneak up yellow stairs. Then you can also use your smoke canisters to stop a security rush. But if your team needs you in the site and they don't push security, you can just rotate back to the bomb site and start smoking off the breach and stuff. Now for the fourth operator on this bomb site, I'm gonna be recommending Jaeger. What you can have him do at the start of the round is run over and put one ADS behind the half wall here in uh, bunks to prevent you from getting naded while you're playing behind the half wall when they breach the wall. Then you're gonna put two ADSs inside of security, one right here and one right here next to the door. Then you're going to, then once you place that, you're then going to run into the reception in here and throw a DP right up on this wall to give your smoke any sort of comms on when they push his door. And then you're gonna run upstairs with Jaeger and roam upstairs to prevent any sort of vert take. So that way they can't open the hatch on the bomb site. And so that they also can't start playing vertically. You're gonna have another roamer up here helping you, but you're just gonna hold this side of the map for as long as you can to stop the vert play. Now the final operator I'm gonna be recommending for this bomb site is Legion. And at the start of the round, you're gonna have him run up green stairs here. Throw some goo mines down on his way. Then you're gonna have him reinforce the outside master wall here. You're gonna have him make a rotate into server right here. And then you're gonna have him make a vaultable rotate into storage here. And you and Jaeger are literally just gonna sit up here, use your goo mines for info. And you guys are just gonna hold up here for as long as you can to stop the attackers from pushing you wherever they end up trying to push you. Uh, this, the hatch, you are gonna end up leaving soft because of the fact that you uh, put two uh, reinforcements on this wall. So if you'd prefer to just reinforce the hatch on the bomb site right here, instead of reinforcing the two outside walls, you can. But these two outside walls are gonna make your roam a lot easier. So I'd recommend reinforcing them uh, in most situations. But yeah, you're just going to spend the entire round roaming upstairs, taking advantage of your goo mines and your rotates to catch the attackers off guard and hopefully pick up some frags and waste some time. Anyways, hopefully you guys found this multiple hour video useful. As always, this video is strictly my opinion. And if you disagree, feel free to leave your opinions in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. If you enjoyed today's video, I make each content just like this twice a week. So go subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter if you don't want to miss the next upload. I spent a lot of time on this video, so it'd help out the channel a lot if you would do so. Also, I just recently started a second channel where I upload non-siege content. So if that's something you're interested in, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check it out. If you want to watch another video just like this one, I'll be popping up on your screen right now that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Also, if you want to watch a video from that second channel that I just mentioned, a video from that channel will be popping up on your screen right now as well. I'll see you next time, friends, and peace.